It's time to relax with the offspring. That cool. Garth Brooks shirt, that's a shit right there. <clears throat> yeah, Gorilla yeah. Biscuits, Garth Brooks. Love it, right? Nice. Yeah, my daughter, well, whatever, that's another story. But my daughter, <laughs> she she wanted me to do something. So I said, you know, try to be a good dad. I'm going to do it for her, right? I go, well, what do you what do you want? I go, what am I doing? She goes, oh, you're singing a song with me at the school. I'm like, really, at the school? <laughs> nice. She goes, yeah. I go, what song? She goes, Rodeo by Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Is there a video of that? <laughs> so I got to dress up and everything, too, man, the whole thing, right? <laughs> and, then, uh, and so we're at the school, and my kid just keeps – She's bringing me around. I want to show you this. 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 I just don't want to go on. That's what she said. I go, I get it, man. But we made a commitment. It's like, we're here. We got to do it. And, uh, so I just held her. I held her on my lap, you know, and sang this fucking rodeo oh. song by Garth Brooks. And uh, with Ronnie, my buddy Ronnie King, Black Company, and on the Nice. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. so I'm going to send her a friend. I, I, does she post it on Instagram? Is there, there's got to be video of that no. somewhere, right? Uh, no. Hopefully not. Oh. I, I mean, just. Uh, Is this recent? Hour? And what are you going to do? It's like, you know, it's my kid. Yeah, like, you can't you know, say right, no. Right, yeah. You can't yeah, say no. Yeah. yeah. And this dad comes up to me afterwards and goes, God, you got some fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do? It's yeah. like, I can't bail my kid. It's I, like, whatever yeah. else. I've yeah. done. I've been in a similar situation. My my uh, daughter did the, was it, the senior, like, uh, talent show, and she wanted to sing a an, an Alanis Morissette song. And I backed her up on guitar. Yeah, So I'm yeah, just sitting yeah. there playing guitar, and she was singing, and, and you know, but it's... It's not something I would normally do, but your kid asks you. Of course, yeah. you're gonna do it. I right? do it. Yeah, yeah. So. You got to look forward to Dexter. <laughs> That's right. My daughter uh, is now in her 30s, so that was a while ago. Oh, and I yeah. mine too, and I use it against yeah. her all the time. I go, oh, give me that shit. I go, I, I Garth that. Brooks that, the fuck out of here. I guess I got off easy. Alanis Morissette at least is you know not that far afield. I don't think I could have done it. I use it all, man. I use it all. My my kid blew me off one time. Oh my god, it was like. I was just trying to get my shit together. I'd gotten clean. I'm trying to do whatever. And my daughter wanted to ride home. And I, I've got to borrow a car. I don't, I don't have a vehicle. Action figure, no vehicle. And I, I borrowed this total hoopty with the doors tied on, right? And, uh, <laughs> and so I drive her to where they're living. And it's like an apartment complex. And I pull up. And she says, just stop here. Stop here. I can walk. I can walk. I can walk. And I'm like, no, man. I'm taking you home. She goes, I can walk. And I realize, oh, she's bummed she's about the car. Yeah. Yeah. She's embarrassed about the car. So I go, okay, I'll get. I'll park the car. So I park the car. And then I walked her. And this kid comes up and says, is that your dad? And my daughter shakes him off. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. Oh, I, 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 start, I start crying. crying man. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the hurts. car just fucking hating life. It's like, it's like fuck. I'm you gonna... didn't honk the horn louder and go, no. see you later, honey. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I, I just try my, to do my best. My man. daughter asked me not to dr- pick her up in the, I had a camper, like yeah. a, an RV, right? Uh, van, <laughs> front, whatever. And and uh, she's, Dad, don't come pick me up. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. So one time I'm pulling up in the camper and I see her sitting with a friend. I lay on a <laughs> horn. Yeah. Saga, you know. That's, I'm, it's my job to embarrass my yeah. kids. So I, now, know? later I did that. Yeah. Now, I did yeah. shit like that later on. So when they got... When they got older, then I'm over at the school, and and I I tell people all the time that like I spanked my daughter on the butt one time, the little one one time because she ran the street, so she got a smack on the ass oh, for right, running yeah. the street. Legit, totally legit. But other than that, everything else was embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. straight right. up embarrassment. Oh, I go, yeah, yeah. I go, hey sweetheart, I'll roll up to that school in my speedos. <laughs> I will roll yeah. up in my speedos and I will stand there and yell your name out in front of that thing. I've been in public with you <laughs> while you're in a speedo. A speedo, yeah. yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> That's, That's a thing. Do not call we're your bluff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, sure. we're rolling, right? Or just, okay, well, we should uh, yeah, we should introduce oh, our, our guest, I guess. Yes. If, we're, if we're even being that formal, I don't know. This is the Offspring Podcast. We've uh, Time to relax with uh, Dexter Noodles and, and Black Ball, yeah. who's really difficult to relax around. Yeah, yeah. it's hard. I keep things inspired, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very difficult. Little he, edge. He had a Red Bull, which is yeah. probably never a good idea for Black Ball. But, yeah, uh, he's, got, he's on the Four Loco now. Yeah, and, I got yeah. the Four Loco going. So <laughs> that's my second. I'm Eight Loco right now. So, yeah. I'm doing good. And our guest today is Jack Grisham. From We're very so stoked well. to yeah. be uh, having fans. you here today from uh, one of the most uh, seminal, influential bands. I Certainly think, one of the bands. most influential bands yeah. for uh, us, for this band. And uh, a real, sure. a real, a real figure. And uh, close to home. Lo- love him, fear yeah. him, <laughs> but never trust him. Jack Grisham. <laughs> there it is. There's your, there's your intro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's nice. It's close to home. It's good to be at home. It's good yeah. to be at home doing this. It's nice. I'm close. But I but I was I rode the bike over here. 
So I got the bike, but I can't I can't look at my my phone. So I got to stop and then look at it right. and then go a little further and look at so it you, again. So you're not, you're not talking like Harley or Indian. You're talking about. No, I'm about... talking to Harley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you? And I actually Harley. got okay. a funny story about it. So, so I had no vehicle because I don't give a shit. It's, it's like I don't, I don't need a car. You know, right. I, I live on, right on the ocean. I live right on PCH yeah. looking at the water. It's like, well, what do I need a car for? If I got to go somewhere, I'll right. rent one or somebody picks me up or whatever. So why do I need a car? I always get a ride. And uh, so this buddy of mine's getting a divorce. And he says, can I put my scooter in your garage? And I go, I go, yeah, what? Yeah, whatever. Sure, stick it in. So he sticks his Vespa in there. And it's just like, it's not a cool Vespa. We're not talking. This is like, it's not a motorcycle. So you're not in that group. But you're not in the Vespa group either, right? This is the thing with the grocery basket on the back and all this shit. And then the other thing, it's covered with religious slogans painted oh. airbrushed and flying eyeballs and flames it's like a total couple thousand dollar paint job on this fucking vespa right <laughs> so he leaves it in there so i'm a, I'm, I'm gonna go up the store one day i'm gonna get uber go up the store and it's like crazy amount of money to go a mile i'm like oh fuck that and i think oh i got the scooter i'll get the scooter right because <laughs> i'm saying I'm, I'm telling him i go i'm not gonna ride that piece of shit oh, i ain't man. riding it because i used to have a street bike when i was a kid yeah, and yeah. i loved it but i i went down a couple times ditch it right so oh, i yeah. thought okay i'll take yeah. i'll take the vespa so I get on, I get out, I get on there. I'm about a second into it, and I'm laying that fucker around corners. And just, <laughs> oh, this is the shit, man. I'm doing 80 up and down PCH on this fucking Vespa, right? So, all right, so I got this, and I'm digging it. In a Speedo, right? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no speedo. fully clothed. But, yeah, yeah, but definitely no helmet. And, uh, and anyway, I'm, I'm doing 80 on this thing up and down PCH, and I got this buddy who's like one of those big, you know, he's got a big mustache, like a big biker dude, my buddy Ron, right? And he goes, uh, I need you to come down to the shop. I want to talk to you about something. Bring the scoop. Bring that little scoop. <laughs> right? So I fucking, I mean, you know, I pet up on this fucking scooter. And and he's sitting there, and he goes, God damn it. God damn it. When I pull up, he goes, that's a fucking embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. He goes, he goes you got to have some pride. He goes, I, I can't stand seeing you on that, that fucking scooter. He goes, I got this for you. And here's this bitchin' black Harley Electroglide, classic wow. sitting there. He goes, I want you to take this. I go, I can't afford that. He goes, let's not worry about that. Let's just get you off the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave the fucking scooter, and now I'm on this fucking hog, you know, tearing around. And that's no nice. little scooter. You can't lay that thing down around no, corners. No, no, you can't. <clears throat> so do things just go your way like that? Is that a, is that a thing? You, are, we need it. Are you, are you, lucky? Are you yeah. lucky in life? Yeah, but it's only it's only so far. There was this <laughs> there was this bitch in uh, I, I I love old science fiction stories, forties, fifties, that and uh, there was a story about these these elves basically that live in this guy's house, and they give him great luck, great luck. Anyway, the the guy that owns the house, the tenant, drives the guy out of there because he's bugging the elves. He's fucking bugging them. So the elves move out too, but the house is still available. So these lower class elves move in, right? <laughs> and they give the guy luck too, but it's shit luck. It's not great luck. It, it's not okay. like, you know, oh, you just won the lottery fucking by stocking Harley. It's, oh, get rid of the scooter, pick up this This sounds Harley. like if, if John Waters directed an episode of The Twilight Zone, Ex it would be this. It, right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the kind yeah. of luck I got. Yeah. So I, 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 I have, my, my knee was fucked up. I go, oh, my knees hurt. And I'm getting ready to go surfing. My knee, I go, my knees hurt. My knees hurt. And I go, oh, here's a leg brace. My buddy goes, what? And there was a leg brace laying in the sand. So I put it on. I go, oh, this is killer. There, Look at this. There you go. <laughs> I do kind of get that impression because we, I, we, uh, well, you, you have a new movie out. We watched it. And uh, right. I want to talk about it a little bit. But for as much as all the crazy shit that you talk about in the movie and as much as you say, we just don't give a fuck. Like you really made a, a real effort to not give a fuck. Uh, but yet things kind of seem to always work out in the end, it seemed like for you in, in a lot of ways. Like it's yeah. really in, a really interesting story. It works out. It works out. Maybe not the road you want to take. <laughs> right, you know, right, 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 yeah, yeah, We yeah. call it going on a... He's, he's living on the beach with a Harley. He's doing <laughs> yeah. a, Something's working out but all right. There is, a name, there is a name for it. It's called going on a thriller. And I've really yeah. learned this, and especially like, like getting into filmmaking now, what I've learned is when shit goes wrong, that's when it gets bitching. Oh, because that was a that, Tom Wilson thing. The chaos. Yeah. 
That chaos. was a Tom Wilson yeah. thing. He said, if if there's not some bad shit that happens, then then it's not worth it. You so know, you, yeah. you know, there, it's it's going to be great. Once the bad shit starts happening, then you know, <laughs> okay, we're on to something. Yeah, you're in it, man. Yeah. And now yeah. you just got to <laughs> yeah. sit back and say, well, where's this going? Now yeah. what's happening? Because sometimes right. the shit like that is what is what all of a sudden this new path comes up that you never would have thought of. Never would have thought of. Right. And we'll yeah, get yeah, to that when yeah, you want to talk yeah. about the movie because there was a part that happened like that in that film. So, uh, why wait? Anyway. Another, another famous quote. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't finish it. I was watching it all, all, all day today. I was kind of off and on doing, yeah. doing stuff. I didn't get, I, I'm about probably about 20 minutes from yeah. the end. Well, it's, yeah. it's a so. different kind of film. I didn't want to make a f- I, fuck. We've seen those documentaries. It's like, <laughs> God damn it. I, I don't need another fucking documentary where it's, where it's people saying, we we influenced them, and then people saying that we were worth something, and then some superstars saying we were cool. It's like, all right, how many times are you gonna have that shit? I've been right. in a bunch of them. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. And, and yeah. it's like, okay, fuck that noise. When they they gave me a list at the start, they go, well, we can have these people in the film. I go, yeah, none of them. I'm not having <laughs> them. Fucking none of them. Right. You know, you could have us in it hey, talking hey, about hey, how much hey, we hey, love hey, you. Hey, yeah, like, you know, right. we could, you well, totally could have. Well, we can. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot like that. But, and it, yeah. and they're friends and friends. But I thought, no, I don't want to do this. I want to do something that's not this. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, so it turned out to be, you know, fucking two hours of stand up with a. It's almost so like great, a stand up. A, a, so a, a warped, like, no, very warped yeah, stand up. Oh, it was hilarious. I, I loved it, man. The, yeah, your delivery was great. The, the laughter and. Oh, it was perfect. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I really liked it. See, I never knew how TSOL, how those fucking rockers ended up with TSOL's name. So that was great. <laughs> like, I loved hearing it. I was like, what the fuck? When I remember when I, I, the first time I heard that, and I was like, no, this is the wrong record. Like, I, this isn't well, TSOL. Well, right. the, the trouble is with that is that a lot of people like what they did. Like the first record Not they did. Not a lot did, of people, I don't think. No, there's a I lot. I think that's pretty <laughs> a liberal uh, statement there. No, not Some, okay. Maybe not live. Their parents liked it. <laughs> maybe not live. I know. I gotta. But, I gotta. I gotta agree with you. I like yeah. Change Today. I thought okay. Change Today was a great record. And a lot there was of some that great songs on that was songs that we were working on before I left. Right. Like we have tapes of us doing these some of these songs, which is funny because because later on Joe said he wrote the whole record. Oh. So, but yeah. what? But but. But the bottom line is, if you got into the band at that album, then they're mad at us. It's like, well, why didn't you cover this? Why didn't you cover this? And I had to tell them, because I wasn't in the band. It didn't have right. anything yeah, to yeah. do with the original guys, because that movie yeah. is about that friendship and that bond and the, the original people. Yeah, the, the original intent, the early punk rock bond that, right. that made you start it in the first place. Right. That's the most you know kind of exciting And that's what stuff. it's about. That's what yeah. the movie is about. You know. But, okay, so... Totally different thing. So that that movie was done during the COVID issue. So where are we going to shoot it? You can't shoot it anywhere. So I have an, my office is in a church. So I went to the reverend. Of course. And said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why so, wouldn't it be in a church? Yeah. Right. So my, that's where my office what, is. What is, kind of church? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let but, me tell yeah. you something, man. If you, ever want, if you ever saw my office, you just go, God, I want to move in here. Because it's badass. It looks like a Moroccan whorehouse. It's fucking, it is, the place, you know, there's there's taxidermy on the walls and just bitch. It's it's great. It's a wonderful Dude, place Dude, the backdrops in, work. in the movie are stunning. Okay. The cinematography is really good. Yeah. So Here's what happened. So I went to the reverend and said, "Hey, look, you got no money coming in. Can I can I rent this this huge room that's in there?" And I go, I, I go, can I rent? I want to shoot a movie in there. So then I hired carpenters and had them build a set inside this room. So so in its forced perspective, so it, the set was only eight feet deep, but mm, it wow. looks long. Yeah, and is that the so, stage that you're? you're no. St- oh, okay. This is the room that the everybody's room that everyone in. Does the, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that okay. is the yeah. same room. So what would happen is I'd say, okay, Ron, you know, wear the blue suit, bring the white guitar, blah blah blah. So then I painted the walls blue, set dressed it, had Ron in there, shot Ron scenes, and then the minute he was done, I stripped it, painted it for the next color, oh, and right. then wow. and then went home and then came back in the morning, pulled the tape, and redressed <laughs> it for the next guy. Right. So it says set design Alex Morgan. Oh, <laughs> all right. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Oh, of so, course. So that's the yeah. same room for every person, just repainted and redressed. Looks different. Right? Yeah. 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 I was wondering. Okay. So then yeah. my, I was in that room too. I had a set 
where I was in that room too. But after we got the the shit, when you're sitting down, when I'm sitting okay, down, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm in the room also. But then when we got the when the transfer came down, my sound was destroyed. It was ruined. Oh, no. So we couldn't use it. we couldn't use huge chunks of it. But now we don't have the rental. The the ten thousand dollars to build the thing oh, is shit. gone. <clears throat> you know, it's like fuck. What am I gonna do? What do we do? It's like I'm thinking, okay, okay. But now we got chaos. So without panicking, I'm thinking, okay, this is bitching. Now let's see what let's fucking see what happens, yeah, right? Yeah. So I had done this thing for this friend of mine, Gabby. She asked me to do something for her, and uh, and she was gonna pay me to write this thing, you know, was whatever it was, uh, and it was really a 15 minute job. It was fucking nothing. It was like I went to the bathroom, had it in my head, wrote it, sent it to her. She goes, well, what can I send you? It's like fucking nothing. It's like 15 minutes. I don't fucking. Pay. I was peeing. I'm, I'm, back, I'm back to work. Leave me alone. We're good, man. So, so, so I called her, and I said, "Hey, man, I don't know what's gonna happen. What are we gonna do? Do you got a camera?" And she goes, "Hang on a minute. Let me call this dude who likes you." And the guy she called was Chris Lavelt, who is a cinematographer. Oh, yeah. Who he worked on Speed. He he uh, he worked on Speed. He shot Emma. He just oh. shot December May. That was the first film in Cannes this year with uh, Natalie Portman. Whatever. And Chris says, hey, I got a day off. I got one day. I'm in between films. I got one day. If we can do it this day, I'll shoot it. So wow. we found, so Gabby found this place, that old stage. And that was a vaudeville theater from the 1930s. And Houdini had worked there, Orson Welles, Milton Berle, all these oh, guys. Man. Yeah. Wow. And it was. And Jack in, in LA. That's right. Jack Richard, right. <laughs> and it was in, in Hancock Park in okay. the back of a mansion. This old Spanish mansion at Hancock Park, wow. and uh, so so I show up to the day we're gonna shoot, and here's movie trucks and guys doing oh, the wow. streets and shit. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? What is this, right? <laughs> and the cool thing is, union guys can work for a hundred bucks if they're into it. So I had a twenty person crew for two thousand bucks <laughs> wow. with all these high end Hollywood guys in there shooting it. Wow. And uh, and so we shot it, and and what's bitching is there's a room where I'm looking at a crystal ball in the movie. And that was the room where Houdini did seances inside oh, this wow. fucking room. Wow. So right on. Yeah, so everything falls <clears throat> apart, falls to shit. And then we end up there, and I'm on the stage, and I think, fuck, the one thing we're missing is an audience. So I went back to the church and, and, <laughs> and said, hey, can I shoot in here? And then brought in the nuns and, and the, the priests cops. and the cops and oh, everybody. Can I borrow some yeah. nuns? <laughs> and, and rolled them in, rolled them in. And then I did fucking basically stand up while they were watching and laughing. And we filmed them while I was just talking. Yeah. We had a comedian, but he was a little like, so I kind of just started fucking with him. Yeah. And, that was, <laughs> that. and that's what got they everyone laughing. very amusing. So yeah. great. Yeah, well, but it yeah, fell it, apart. It, yeah, it looks amazing, yeah. though. It's great. Yeah, it, yeah, it was it was. Really good, man. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, it's a shock when you see it, like compared to a lot of a lot of documentaries. Then you see, and especially if you saw it on a big screen. I saw it on a big screen. It's like motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, because it really is beautiful. It cost me yeah. a shitload of money. It's like, god damn it. Now when somebody goes, how they spend all that money? I say, I know how they spend. Yeah. All that money. It's like, Let me tell you. Yeah. It's like I'm sucking off the yeah. government tit making fucking movies. It's like, what the hell are you doing, man? But. uh but you know, and it 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 is what it is. And and when we sent it to the distributor, the guy said, "God, I love this, but what am I watching?" What? Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought this was a music documentary. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps you on your toes, right? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, I mean, with your history, how do you even decide what to put in it? But I mean, how? So how many years? Do you know how many years it's, it's been since you started the band? Uh, Forty something years. Forty, right? Oh, yeah. Geez, it's like, man. what are you gonna? How? And that's the thing. What are you? What are you gonna cover? It's like you could spend. Like Suburbia, the movie Suburbia, you you could shoot a movie on the day of shooting Suburbia, on about that day, yeah, like yeah. you know, a Hard Day's whole Night, movie, whatever yeah. the fuck. You could shoot a whole yeah. movie based on being a punk band playing in this fucking film. There's a whole movie, yeah. you know. It's totally. like it's like everything's so. Then what do you take out? What do you do? And you know, in the movies, like two hours, twenty minutes long, or whatever. It's fucking long. But what what am I supposed to do? Yeah. We barely touched. On yeah. shit. Like, there's five or ten minutes of each thing. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, you're talking four records, four records, three major tours, a fucking movie, then the death, then the 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 trying to get back together. When we played with you guys at yeah. the at the uh, 
Celebrity yeah. Theater. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, remember yeah. that? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Dude, that was a huge day for us. I mean, because you guys were huge, you know, influence on us. We uh, we had a connection with Tom, so Tom introduced us, and I, I think that was a rough show for oh. you guys. You guys were still not <laughs> not great. There were some oh mechanical issues, right? Relationships were strained. Your gear I guess. Or something that show, no, didn't you? Roach, man. It's yeah. so I was clean. <laughs> I was clean. You so are, I, okay. I got clean in '89. So whatever. Mm-hmm. But but I'm just like. Like, I remember when they were telling me I had a problem. It's like, yeah, fuck you, man. You know, it's like, with me, it's just weed and pills, little cocaine, whipping Pam some mushrooms, <laughs> smoking hash. It's like, what's the problem here? It's like, <laughs> right, yeah, it's yeah. like maybe tell me to get out of high school, but yeah. fuck, man. Look at Roach. He's shooting dope and pawning right, shit. And, right, yeah. And Todd... Todd had his fucking on his bass drum, had a holster, a gun holster, with his speed pipe in it. It's like, it's like, so now when you're looking at that, oh, and then yeah. somebody tells me, I got a problem, it's like, yeah, right, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. This is a problem. Yeah, right. oh, so man. so yeah. we go up there, Roach is pawning fucking gear, right? And he's pawning, and I'll tell you one thing he lost. Roach lost Brian Wilson's white pea base. Oh, shit. Oh. The famous white pea base of Brian oh. Wilson's Roach. Fucking some guy loans it to him. And, and it's like, and then the guy's pissed off. It's like, hey, dude, you're giving fucking 100 large to a tard, and you're yeah. fucking wondering where the fucking, and yeah. I mean, no offense on the tard. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, and then you're mad yeah. because he sat it down somewhere and walked away? Are you fucking kidding me? You know? And so, so Roach, oh, so no, we hadn't played together in years. Hadn't played together in years. We try to get together. Nobody shows up for the first practice. Second practice, Roach doesn't got any fucking gear. Doesn't got anything. <laughs> Todd has constructed this 55-piece Rush drum set. Uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah. And it's shiny. Everything's shiny. Yeah. He's fucking polishing it all day. If he's not jerking off, he's polishing the drums, right? And, and shit practice, nothing. And Roach kept pawning gear, losing it, pawning gear, losing it, and he took gear to sound check and pawned it. So at the show, <laughs> here's all these guys waiting for their gear. And whose gear he ended up using was Fleas. They they let him, Chris Grayson brought the gear down and watched it. Like, watched yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and watch. I'm not oh, going in there. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. If I was right, he didn't have a fucking kid tether on the base. You know what I mean? One of those, so the kid can't run away from you. It's like crazy. And then we play the first song, and Roach isn't even playing the same song. He's playing a total fucking different song. Uh. Total different song. Oh. But so if we want to talk luck, we want to yeah. talk crazy luck from the shit. Whatever. So in that, we also we also did uh, we did a show at Raji's because we were supposed to do a record that night, and it was a union hall, so we can't do a record. So we book Raji's, and we bring the recording gear to Raji's, and we do this live '91 record, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. which mm-hmm. which was done in '89, which was not '91, <laughs> yeah. and we did it there, and it was a fucking mess. It was a mess. You hear Fletcher fucking yelling. Everybody's yelling. You know, the the mic's getting dropped. It's just, you know, it's a fucking shit show. So that record doesn't get, it's unusable. Can't get it out, right? So so they finally, and they'd given us money for it. We spent the money. And then they said, uh, Peter from Triple X calls me and says, hey, man, we got to we gotta fix this record. He goes, what do you want to do? I go, I, I got an idea. I got an idea. I go, book me some studio time. I got an idea. So I run up to the studio, and there's this dude, the, the engineer guy or whatever. I go, okay, here's what I want you to do. Get a couple of speakers, right? Hand me a 58. Give me a 58 microphone. Put a couple speakers live behind my back, and let me just sing in the 58 while you're blowing the record from behind me. And it, he goes, it's going to bleed. I go, great, great. We want it to bleed. We want it to get on there. So I just got in front of the speakers and sang to it while the thing's going so it sounds live. It, it sounds, sounds live, yeah. It sounds fucking live, yeah. but it's not live. And it was finished in 45 minutes. It was like, that was it, that was it right? Go. And the guy's going, wow. He goes, I've never done that before. He goes, that sounds excellent. I go, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Take it. Take the credit. You got it, right? And then I'm getting, and it, he goes, well, we still got seven hours and 15 minutes here. I go, I go yeah, fucking take a nap, man. I'm out of here. I want to go home. I, I would be stuck up here in L.A. And I start to walk out, and I see this Scotch tape box, a two-inch master track Scotch tape box. And it's old, you know, it's old, and it says, God only knows on it. And I go, fuck, man. I go, is that that? And he goes, yeah. And he gets all excited. He goes, and this was right when CDs are coming out. 
and he says, I'm remastering this for CDs. They're going to release oh, wow. Pet Sounds on CD. And he goes, you want to hear it? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to hear <laughs> yeah, it. Right. And so we sat there for eight hours, the rest of those hours, blowing through Beach Boys tapes. And I was wow. holding... <laughs> I was holding the master of God only knows in my hand, and it's like, like, dude, this is like holding the Michelangelo. Dude, man. Yeah. Like, oh Seriously. my God, Seriously. amazing! And yeah, yeah. and I came home and I was telling my buddies, I go, oh, there's a sax solo in God only knows, and help me, Rhonda has a completely in, you know, because it starts now. Well, Santa put me, down. but there was a whole intro they had and cut. And I'm going, wow. fuck, I heard this. And they're going, no, you didn't. What are you talking about? You know? and, uh, and it was badass. So so everything falls up. Road show, show goes to shit. Record goes to shit. Try to save it. And I end up getting to listen to Pet Sound. You know, and, <laughs> yeah. and the original. And you holding know, the tape. Single yeah. tracks out. And, and you just, still got a record out of it. Yeah, and yeah. still got a record live record. Out of it. Got it done. <laughs> and got a record out of it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah but well, it was bitch. I mean, you never could have, you know, planned that. Right. So. I remember those shows because... Um, I tried to get into the Raji show and we we couldn't, but um, so that was eighty nine. Well, New Year's yeah. Eve eighty nine, right? The whole thing, and and we actually got on the show. Wasn't it, it was your birth. Wasn't wasn't it quite New Year's Eve? It was right around there. I thought it was, was your birthday. It was close, December thirty first, because I got the T shirt from the December thirty first was Celebrity Theater. Yeah, so that's what, what I'm you talking about. It was. So it was. It was yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, yeah. we actually got on that show because of Big Frank. He was involved somehow and said, oh, "Hey, right, I can get right. you guys on the show." And we were still because. You guys stopped playing as that lineup in what, like eighty two or eighty three, maybe something like 83, that. Yeah. Yep. So, but I knew. Well, Tom had called me about it, about getting you guys on that. Oh, show. really? Maybe yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> no, Frank, let Thanks. Frank. Frank can yeah. take the yeah. 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 But maybe it's Tom. Tom. Tom had hit me up about it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, we first heard you guys, and I was in high school, right? And uh, just like it was just there was something about it that was just it was it was wild, man. It was what exactly what you know. 17 year old kid right. wants to listen to right I'm like he said fuck the what holy <laughs> shit <laughs> jesus christ you well know? And i like how you dress that in the movie you know you never yeah. get along with the girls at my school you know i totally relate yeah you know totally yeah you know the chicks don't you have just... the time for me you know right. and then you know i'd rather go out and fuck the dead and then you just ran with that for the rest of the song <laughs> yeah. you know right. just... fuck i was a kid <laughs> but it all kind of yeah. 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 Just take it one step too far but, right? yeah. but yeah. then you just you know you get that smile on your face and it's just the, the whole song's great and yeah. funny you know it's i saw i was Listen to it as tongue in cheek, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and not you know. a popular song when we played it. It used to be well, like sixth or seventh in the set. Really? Like we end well, with it now, but back then yeah. it was like, it was all right, but it was like sixth or seventh. It wasn't even. Yeah. You know, and the thing with T.S. Well, I think, in my in my opinion, was it was really something that you had to be there because not so much a song. It wasn't great songwriting. I mean, you know, some people get mad at me when I say that, but it really is not. If it's not great songs, you know, they're for the time. You might get an argument. Let's go from, ahead. Go from ahead from a couple of us. I, I, I get an argument all the time about yeah, it. But yeah. I, I mean, you know, I look superficial love only for a fuck. But love is incest and it's only for a buck <laughs> eating to survive. <laughs> Surviving to free, peacetime, wartime, time to draft me. What the fuck are you talking about, man? It's like, it's like you just covered three different subjects. Right, I get it. That, you know, or, get it. or whatever, yeah. and yeah. chord choices or whatever the hell. It's not, you know, yeah. like I'm a pop guy. I fucking, you know, it's not Gen X, man. You know, we're not writing Kiss right. Me Deadly right, right, right. or whatever, right. you know. And, well, I think uh, that's what appealed to, to us was, you know, the different, that it was different than what we had grown up. You know, we grew up with, you know, Pop rock and you know yeah, me too. stuff our parents loved, you know. Um, so this was yeah. different. This was the first thing that I went, well, okay, this is this is me. And it may have been Code Blue that that grabbed me first. Just you know, shocking. Are you kidding me? Who sings like this? But that whole fucking record, I that, you didn't. I never skipped a song. No, I love that, that, that record yeah. is an absolute yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. There's I got no, nothing yeah, skippable. Got a tattoo. Yeah. So yeah. I got a tattoo. Yeah. There, there you go. Yeah. How about that? Wow. Yeah. 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 The ultimate. Well, conflict. you know what I'm. I'm just saying. But it was more like a thing. Like you had to see us. Like, you had to be there in the thing. You know, right. that was what it was. Like, a lot of people didn't understand. They said, oh, now they're doing this. Now they're doing this and doing this. But when we played live, we played it all. Like, right. you know, brought yeah. in the keyboards and going for this and then into this bitch and keyboard thing. So it was like a... It was an event. It was, you know, it was fun. Well, was I still movement. disagree with you because I didn't see you until you guys started playing as Lost. Uh, like you're cooking at Teasers, you know, and uh, that was Jason's like a, a little the first younger time, than us. That was so. the first time I saw you guys was at Lost. I was probably like, like in 90. 
92 or something like that 91 92 or probably yeah. yeah yeah and 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 yeah and listen that album was a classic and i remember just the you know my mom overhearing it and just slamming open the door what you know like <laughs> i want to fuck the dead but yeah. then she got kind of sidetracked with the nazi punks fuck off she like like i was a nazi punk telling to fuck off you know like so i'm like no mom it's the opposite you know the dead kidding. <laughs> opposite, they were saying, yeah. fuck off to the nazi punks yeah you know like but yeah i know i remember i can remember exactly when my mom just slamming open the door after hearing code blue you know <laughs> playing on my when i'm sitting there playing on my commodore 64 you know like so <laughs> hey my michael zimpelli zed records michael did zed right. uh, he called me one day because i didn't my parents didn't listen to anything my dad was fucking 30 years in the service i had to salute him when he came home <laughs> Right, yeah. Jack Gerson reported yeah. for inspection. Yeah. Sir, when I was like a kid, my dad was like a hard, Jesus. you know, great Santini hard case man. And, and now uh, you're s stealing his haircut. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he was shooting people that looked like me. And, and imagine Jack rebelling like this. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like a, well, that's like why. That. I mean, look, when you ra get raised like that, it's like, come on, man. It's yeah, like really, yeah. you're not fucking telling me shit, man. Yeah. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Asking for it. Yeah. Anyway, so Mike Zampelli calls me one day. He goes, man. He goes, you got to get down here. He goes, your fucking mom's in here doing an end story. I'm like, what? what? I go, what? And my mom had gone to Zed Records and she said, I want everything that T.S. Wells done. My son won't let me hear anything. He doesn't say anything. I want every record. And somebody goes, oh, you're Jack's mom? She goes, yeah, he's probably, who knows where he is now? He's not mowing the lawn, that's for sure. <laughs> so then so Kelly calls me, because you got to get over here, man. You're fucking, I go, ah, oh, fuck that noise. Just get her out of there as quick as you can. <laughs> you got to go. Wow. But she's there signing records for people. I mean, that's what I'd like to find. I'd like to find one of the Dance With Me records that my mother had signed. I'm sorry. Oh, funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I guess I'm trying to make it's a point classic. here, but I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there was definitely a, a mystery, and it was sort of kind of part of how the band was, I think, but it was also just the experience because I was in high school. I'm trying to figure out how to go see you guys, and there'll be some rumor about, like, in high school, oh, dude, they're playing in Long Beach at a party tonight. Like, really, really? But then somehow it doesn't materialize. Right, right. We're at uh, <clears throat> the Bellinis one night. Oh. And she's like, I know Jack. And it's like 1 a.m. And she's a couple years older than us. I'm like, really? And she goes, yeah, I'll call him right now. And like, and I hear her talking to, I guess it was you. I don't know. But she's like, oh, yeah, that was my friend Jack, whatever. But like. Julie Bellini. Julie, yeah. 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 So, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's true. Yeah. She was well, I did true. know her. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were over there for a party one night. We went over there yeah. for a party. Okay. Yeah. But somehow, just, you know, supposedly you're playing at some, like, I don't know, some place on Westminster Boulevard, and we got there, and the sign on the door says, turns out they're playing in Arizona tonight. They can't be here tonight. So I, I missed, remember that. I yeah, missed yeah, you yeah. guys, yeah. like, five times, and then you were already in Beneath the Shadows by then, and then it was over, right? And, like, fuck, yeah. I never got to see TSOL. I, like, I, I didn't see you until Beneath the Shadows. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, no, was... not sorry, not beneath the show. That's a cathedral of tears. Right, right. So, yeah. so we'd go see. Yeah, we saw the change today stuff and all that. But it was always like you know, yeah. wanted to see the original lineup and stuff. So yeah. when it finally happened, it was it was really cool. It was awesome. And and we still go. We still yeah, go and yeah. see you guys. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. come. We come to the out of the way places, right? Because you know, and yeah. Fresno, yeah. Yeah. Bakersfield, Bakersfield and Fresno. And, Fresno. Yeah. and well, in a way, those are kind of there's something fun about those shows. You don't get at a regular hometown show, right? It and is I, fun. I like that. Great. Yeah, I like the weirdness of it. Right. Me too. I like that. And I like, you know, whatever. I, I said this over and over again. If it was up to me, I'd just play house parties. Right. I, I tried to get Hurley to do that one time. I said, look, why don't you just sponsor us? Sponsor us, and we'll just play in people's houses for free. <laughs> I like, love this. Like, oh, I love this. Yeah. Right. They're like, you can't do that. I go, fuck you, you can't. I, I get houses all over the place. Yeah. He goes, well, I know you can get houses. Yeah, the liability, the right? Yeah. Liability, yeah. liability right? Yeah. yeah, it's like the liability is just, I, fuck, I just saw this bitch in house the other day, and I, I wrote him a letter. I, I wrote him a I, I I saw this house, this gorgeous house, and uh that this old designer, this old Hollywood designer did. It's called like Don Bridge or something. It's this bitch and okay. bitch in place, right? And I, I, what the hell? I just wrote to him. I said, hey, I told my wife tonight that she can stop sending me those goddamn dream boards because I have seen God in your house, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, and sent it, and she wrote back. The lady wrote me. Oh, wow. She goes, she goes, oh, what a great piece, you know, and. Uh, and, but yeah. they said insurance reasons you can't get in. They can't let people in to see it, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. Noodles and I had the same conversation right before we put out our last record, Let the Bad Times Roll. We're like, dude, let's just go do a fucking backyard party, right? Yeah. And we had seen this movie 
called uh, Los Punks, right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Have you seen that one about, it's kind of like the East, East LA, LA backyard yeah. party, no, punk rock party scene. I've done scene. some of those. They're badass. I've <laughs> yeah, played yeah. some of those. Yeah. yeah. Looks so like fun. he knew yeah. a guy who knew a guy who set it up, yeah. Nacho. Had it all or set like up, that. yeah, with Nacho from Corrupted Ideals, yeah. And then somebody up the flagpole said, Wait, what the fuck are you guys doing? You're doing a free party where they're serving alcohol and it's, you know, minors and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, You guys are just asking for bad It was going to be and... a fucking blast, man. It was <laughs> yeah. going to be a blast. <laughs> One way or another. Yeah. It, it was, was going to be, be a lot of fun. It was, it was be set up. Yeah, so I, I, listen, we could still make it happen if, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, bond it. Get somebody to bond it. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, Osprey, Let's both of us do it. Both of us oh, do don't it. threaten me I with think, a good time. <laughs> I think the thing is, is is to show up kind of unannounced, uh, play on their gear, like, you know, four or five songs, and then right. and get, get, get the hell out before I, I anyone gets stabbed or shot. Or, right yeah, now, okay. I, I literally yeah. can have it set up for Saturday. Oh, TSOL, <laughs> yep, I can have it done. Let's do it. <laughs> well, we when I was in the Joy Killer, so we were fooling around in uh, – and I said, I don't know, whatever was going on, right? And some about some something happened, and people got injured. Whatever was going on, <laughs> something happened. And then afterwards, the guy goes, "Look at my fucking eye, man!" He goes, like, "Fucking that guy punched me in the face." I said, "One of the bouncers had punched this guy, right?" I go, "I got your back, man. I got you. What do you What do you want?" He goes, "Come play in East LA." I go, "Okay, great. Set up. We'll go." So he calls me up. He goes, all right, the show's behind the King Taco. And he gives me the address. <laughs> and, it's, and you know where the King Taco is, yeah. right? He goes, it's yeah. right there. So we show up, and it's fucking packed. I mean, the streets are packed. Just, and we just a lot? We played in this backyard, and it was it went off, man. It was, like, so yeah. fucking great. Those so are my fun. favorite shows, right? Yeah, we did, oh, we did sure. a million of those back yeah. in the day, yeah. right? We played his backyard. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 Uh, the cops are coming. The like, cops the helicopter. show up. So yeah, we they, they start playing LAPD, man. Yeah. When, yeah. when the cops yeah. are coming in in the right gear. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, man. And that was yeah. after Smash had come out. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's was badass. It? Yeah. Yeah. Was it after Smash? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, yeah, oh. I turned 21 in... Uh, that was my twenty first birthday. It was ninety three, August of ninety three. So Smash wasn't out yet then. Or no, uh, we were working on it, but we were, we were recording it, but wasn't. No, out I think yet. It, no, it was. I mean, we played it. It was. Well, you don't want this memory to be ruined. So let's just say yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was born in seventy two. Seventy two. <laughs> let me do the math. Seventy two. Yeah. So that what that's. Whatever. Elvis yeah. showed up. Oh, it's right. a 94. Let's just 94. say it was Smash. August of 94. Right before okay. Elvis died. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was August of 94. <laughs> it, it, okay. Yeah. So Smash was so out. Smash was out. I, Smash I, was out I, then. I'm yeah. 100% positive. There it is. Yeah. I, I, would I, would, I would love to do a backyard party with you. Yeah. Let's, yeah. We, you know, That'd be let's, funny let's, shit, let's man. Let's do something. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's happening with us. We're all Everybody's getting injured. Fucking Emery's injured now. Oh like really? Roach, oh, Roach no. got injured. Greg yeah. got injured. Emery's injured. It's like, God damn it! It's like, you know, and it's funny. I, I sent a text to Ron today. I said, you know, we were fucking so concerned about the government fucking us that none of us thought about old age. Gentlemen, <laughs> 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 no, fuck old that's age. Right. Yeah, fuck yeah. Old age. Yeah, yeah. Old age can shove it. That's, it's what's, like, <laughs> that's what's really gonna get you. Oh my yeah. god, oh. man! When you can't fucking walk an injury off, I used to be able to walk them off, right? Oh, yeah. And, and then it's like, yeah. god damn it. You know, I wake up and just take a beating. And then somebody, I, Mike Lorman, I was talking to Lorman, and I said, uh, I go, yeah, I got fucking high miles on me. And he writes back, yeah, motocross miles. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> That's so for not sure. Just, not just highway miles. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, uh, and talk about injuries. I mean, Fletcher tackled you at that show whenever right. that was. I mean, that was like. I, just, I was I, I was at front of house when that happened, and my son was right there at the, in the pit. Right. And, and uh, I've seen video from all angles. and. Oh my god! I, my thought was like my son was just shocked that that happened. My thought was, God, I hope those guys are all right because we're old now. That's not well. <laughs> well, you know, we don't walk those injuries off as quickly as well, we used and to. And I was getting shit. It's like, what the fuck were you even thinking? Like, yeah. Look, I don't mind you tackling me. Yeah. But what was your plan? Yeah. Yeah. What, here's what I want to know. I weigh three hundred pounds. Fletcher weighs three hundred pounds. Yeah. There's fucking six feet gap to the to the to the metal with a of bunch the of with yeah. a bunch of young kids. In the front, yeah. it's like I'm thinking. So, what do you think? You're gonna just grab me, and we're going to float over this <laughs> yeah, boat, yeah, yeah. and then land gingerly Gently, on yeah. the arms of yeah. a 15 year old girl yeah. who's gonna hold 600 pounds over her fucking head? Are you out of your fucking mind? What are you thinking? And then when we went down, he had me wrapped up, and we were going head first. So I just tucked in because I was gonna go the head. So I took it on the shoulder and the back. 
and then got up and I was so fucking pissed, You're man. Pissed. It's like, <laughs> it's like God damn it. And I love yeah. him like a brother and I was so fucking pissed gonna just throw a throat punch man i was just so yeah. fucking angry and it's like I, your little brother fucked up yeah and, yeah and totally then, yeah, yeah and whatever yeah. and it's like come on really after all the damage i've done yeah. to people it's like all right suck it up you know whatever <laughs> and then i get back on stage and we finish the song right we finished it and right. later on i asked roach i said i go you guys didn't want to stop and check and make sure i was okay <laughs> he goes what stop and have you crawl up get back on stage and get yelled at for not finishing <laughs> the song he goes <laughs> yeah what right. that he goes, yeah. we just kept playing. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck it. But but the bottom line is, I, I had that, you know, I got a fucking heart issue. So I was on blood thinners, but oh, not but not okay, then. Yeah. They had just taken me off blood thinners. And my cardiologist really cool. He's like a totally great guy. He's great, man. And uh, anyway, he calls me and he says, you know, two weeks ago, that would have been catastrophic. Oh, oh really? Goes, really? We could not. A... We could oh, not wow. have. We could not have stopped the bleeding, because I was so bruised from just neck all the way down to thigh oh, and black shit. that I would have bled out. They couldn't have stopped it. He said that would have been a catastrophic incident. That's the luck he's Fle- talking about. Yeah, yeah. Fletcher. Oh, Fletcher almost killed you. Literally <laughs> yeah. almost killed yeah. you. Fletcher. Literally almost killed me. Earlier. If I was still on the yeah. blood thinners, I would have died. Oh, yeah. Jesus! Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. So that, when we did the Surf City Blitz. Uh, he was in town. I didn't, and I didn't realize, yeah. you know, I'm used to you, you know, barging in yeah. on me doing the keep them separated line, uh, when we're in Seattle yeah. and Vancouver and stuff in the Pacific Northwest. He's, it's dark out. He's drunk. He's running from the other side of the stage and he takes me out, my microphone yep. out, knocks my guitar out. I got, he's tackled, by, out to I got do the, tackled by security. Security tackled me and I <laughs> fell into you. He fell into me. Fucking noodle starts kicking me. I start to me. kick him yeah. and realize I can't kick this guy <laughs> yeah. in front of like thousands of people on the it's beach here. Did, I can't kick a guy but who's down on the ground. No, I pulled the kick. I pulled uh, the well, kick. I, I, I just thought yeah. you kicked like a girl. But, so, yeah. But yeah, 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 no, no. I do. Was, yeah. But I also pulled the <laughs> kick. And you were just so. trying to make it to hey, the mic. Hey, I was just going to the mic to say keep them separated. And, and next thing you know, Knocks I got tackled down, by Knocks, security. Yeah. And, and then I got thrown into him and he gets shoved forward. So he turns around and starts kicking. He doesn't even know it's me. And then he. Blackball, like oh, yeah, yeah. takes out my all my foot pedals are out. My guitar sound is is destroyed. My knocked out of tune, uh, but I think we finished the song anyways. Yeah. I just grabbed him. Once I realized who he was, I told security to leave him alone yeah. and let him finish the song. <laughs> hey, but, yeah. girls, girls kick hard. Yeah, let's yeah. make sure yeah. that we know that. That's right. Yeah. That's hard. right. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's a good thing you weren't on blood thinners. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. thing I wasn't on blood thinners. I would have. Yeah, I would have broken your ribs. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, I love. I love that fucking close to home, man. I could stand on stage and see my house. I yeah. can see where I live. Yeah. And yeah. I know what, we're doing this new one coming up. This dark way. I'm getting. Oh yeah, fucking, yeah. I can't I'm, wait. I'm getting death threats. From people saying we sold out by playing that oh, show. Oh, really? We're sold. Oh, I had some guy uh-huh. saying he's going to burn my apartment down and fucking <laughs> better save that money to fu- What money? Yeah, what right. What fucking yeah, yeah, money? Yeah. It's like, I, I love it. It's like, look, dude, I have been living my principles for 40-something fucking years still. Right. Yeah. <laughs> still doing this, involved in the community, doing all this shit. Somebody says you want to play a show a fucking mile from your house. It's like, great, maybe I can make rent this yeah. month <laughs> without right. fucking selling my ass online. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then I got somebody threatening me, saying I'm now working for multi-fucking blah, blah, blah corporations and all this shit. It's like, God damn it, man. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? I, well, I, I can't heard... wait for that show. I got I got tickets for it. Blame so. Devo. Yeah, I can't I, wait. <laughs> I heard a quote, I think it was from Chris Fenn about you. He said that you once said something like, my life is so fucked up that people actually think I'm keeping it real. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, true. It, it's, like, it's like I love that fucking. Yeah. There's a great Dave Chappelle one where you ever see that where he's like in a he's in a business suit and he's like, you know, he's fucking killing it. Right. He's killing it. And, you know, he's at a big law firm. He's in a business suit. And somebody says, all right, give me some skin. To him he goes. Get your fucking hand down, motherfucker. He, just goes, he goes crazy and just starts talking. He goes, when keeping it real gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's funnier and shit if you get a chance. It's called yeah. when keeping it real goes wrong. Okay. And he's like, fuck you, you crack a piece of yeah. shit. I'm fucking, fucking shake my hand like a man. God damn, I'm just going crazy. So, awesome. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, it's like what do you think I try to be this? I, you know, yeah. it's like I, I said that in the in the fucking TSL movie, man. If I wanted to be straight, 
I fucking yeah. tried. Right, right. Yeah. I have tried. <laughs> I have tried since third grade to be straight, man. It, it's like, you know, it, it's like I, I don't have a bad brain, man. I'm all right. I think, fuck, if I just didn't have that one little extra thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one I mean, switch. Is. That one switch. That, that always happens. The show's going to sell out. Everyone's going to be happy except for a few people or whatever, right? And I'll bet you that your band gets it probably more than we do uh, now. We got it. Well, for, tons yeah, we got back in the day, yeah. but right. when you're still kind of like the niche, the the punk rock quote band yeah. or whatever, you're gonna get a lot more flack for anything that's not quote punk than which, which than is just us who. It's right. ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, it is it's so, so ridiculous. Well, it's it's ridiculous. All, I mean, Devo and 45 Grave are playing it too, right? Like, so. Oh, sell out. I mean, wow. Talk about sellouts, yeah, right? Yeah. They've always <laughs> been. Yeah. They've always been. Yeah. They've always okay, been. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I guess I'd gotten super principled in this guy's yeah. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Wayne Kramer line. I love that Wayne Kramer line. I've been selling out for years and nobody's buying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. That well, reminds me of a question I want to ask you, though, because I did see you in different bands over the years whatever but one of them i saw way back in the day was cathedral of tears and right. and you guys were on k-rock i mean you guys like that was were uh, you I don't we know had the top we had we were in the top in 1984 it was uh one of the top 10 most requested songs it was in you guys in wow. duran duran i mean it, yeah i thought wow this is jack's break it's finally yeah, gonna yeah. go like I wow good up. for him i fucked it up so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the funny thing about you that. Had is, you, so, real, you, you had to keep it real, didn't you? You had to keep it real. Well, here's how real I kept it, right? So <laughs> so so we did the record, right? And there, there's a whole thing. There was a demo on the same thing. We gotta write new songs, fucking this, that. And I'm drinking and my dad dies in the middle of it. It's just a fucking it was like a bummer all the way across. The whole thing was just I'm fucking taking pills. I'm drinking I'm with Chaz Ramirez getting fucked up, you know, doing this record and uh Anyway, so so when I gave it to the guy at the label. He goes, "There's, there's not a good song on here." I go, "Fucking this one is." I go, "This one's a fucking hit song right here. This is a great song." He goes, "No, that's no, no, fuck. I don't know what you gave me. This isn't what I thought you were gonna give me." Blah blah blah. I go, "Great." So then I went down to the studio and said, "Hey, can you get me a? I'm supposed to pick up a copy of this." The guy goes, "Are you sure?" I go, "Yeah, I'm supposed to get a copy of this song." So he gives me a copy of the song. I drive to K-Rock with a tape, a tape of it. I knock on the back door of, the, of K-Rock. I go, hey, I got this track. And the guy goes, can I, can I make a card out of it? And I, right. go, I go, yeah, make it. Go ahead. You can play it whenever you want. They had that song on the radio before I got home. <laughs> it was on the radio, Rad. and then it went, it was in And hot, that wasn't Rodney? That was just no, normal? No, no, straight oh, K-Rock. Cause... And it was in hot rotation by that afternoon. Wow. And the record company calls me and they go, what the fuck are you doing? I go, I told you it had a hit on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I fucked myself because there's no record. There's no record. There's no way to do it. There's no vinyl print. There's no nothing. And by the time it did its run of, you know, a month or two or whatever, it's gone. It's, ah. you know, it's, that was it, huh? It's There's... basically whatever. It just, you know, and then the band had broken up and I was done. I didn't want to. Uh, that, that was like uh, when the drinking for me and, and all the other thing really escalated from 84 to 89. Those five years were just uh, fucking not good years. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's bad. Wow. But there but was it, another one. Greg and I had another thing going. Yeah, I was playing it for somebody to eat, the, the men's club, this total fucking. It's like the kids at Burger loved it. They put it out on cassette. They're like, "This is a shit," and uh, and that was something else. I don't that remember we were men's club. I, I don't, well, because we never. It was something else that had like label attention. I just fucking did. What was do there it. was something else between Cathedral of Tears Tender and Joy Fury. Killer? Tender Fury, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Which with Randy just, Bradbury, right? Right. Yeah. Which started yeah. off as just dr something to do, drink and play shows, and then I got sober. And the last record, the If Anger Were Soul, I'd be James Brown. They just uh, re-released. Just come is coming back out on vinyl. That is actually a great record. It's um, Frank Agnew on guitar, Randy oh, Bradbury really? on bass, Josh Freeze on drums, of course, and uh, and me and Ronnie Champagne, who worked with um, Jane's Addiction, he produced it, and it's right. it's it's a really good record. It's like, and I feel good about it because it's when I really started caring about. What I was writing about, what I was doing, and really thinking and caring about what I did. Now, this is not the this is not the Gentleman Jack record. No, no, no. That, that was, was something else. I too. like that too. Yeah. I, I think Higgins played on yeah. some of that. Yeah. 
I like making yeah. records. I'm I fucking I make love that record too. I'm making, rec- <laughs> I'm making a record right now. You want to make a record right now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want. That's like seven bands. Like we I had know. one basically. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, well, I just like doing shit. Yeah. Like I just like doing shit. Somebody just hit me up the other day about something. I had done a thing with uh, with you hear this track I did with Frank Agno and me. It's just you know f- great pop song. Really fun. Well, the last TSOL record you wrote largely with yeah. Frank, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love He's Frank. Yeah, great. really nice guy. Doesn't come out a lot. No, he, he, no. He, you know, I've only met him a couple times, but just super nice guy. And he and I are like, when we get together to write, we're like, we're like the same person. Yeah. It, it's real easy. It's like real, real easy. We're working with Frank. Frank and I have always worked well together. I had forgotten that he actually went out on tour with you guys. He did. And was kind of part of TSOL early on. Yeah, yeah. he did. He went the until high the, first tour the he went. <laughs> he yeah. got out quick. He had enough. <laughs> <laughs> he had enough. Fucking Frankie was with us, man. It's like he had enough. I, and I see it in the movie. You know, he had brothers, but not like us. Yeah. Was that after the adolescence for him, or was it? Did he go to the no, adolescence after you? during the adolescence. During. It was like during the adolescence. Yeah, yeah. okay. And I always worked with Hokey. I made I made uh, the Manic Low, this band, the Manic yeah. Low. I did did it with Hokey. Mm-hmm. What was you know, it? Yesterday was the fifth year anniversary of his passing. Um, I believe yesterday or the day before. I got a so, fuck story. Yeah, you want to hear yeah. a fuck story? I'll tell you a fuck story. <laughs> okay, so. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, we haven't even touched a fuck story yet. Yeah. Now we're gonna touch a fuck okay. story. So. Right. so Frank and and Steve Soto, very sheltered young men. And they used to, Frank, they were always making gay jokes, right? And I thought it was fun, but I realized the reason why they were doing it is they were little boys. Like, looking back now, <laughs> they were 15, 16 years old. They were little boys, you know? They called Ed, Ed Culver the Viking, Eddie the Viking, you know, because he's, like, dressed in black and big, you know? It's, like, <laughs> like creepy, like Ed Viking. That's what we called him. And, and then they'd call, like, they had different names for different mustaches, like if you had a mustache, oh, that's the push broom, you know. That's uh, the, right, that's right, the right. shredded wheat. That's the, you know. <laughs> right. And they make these jokes because they're little boys. They're little boys making these fucking jokes, right? So we're down in Tijuana and we go into the uh, Bambi Club and uh, notorious transsexual bar, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I, I I never get the nomenclature, whatever the hell they're called right now. Anyway, so we go in there, and I'm with Frank and Steve, and they're freaking out, right? Now i got a couple in me. I'm up. So I walk the bar, and here's this woman, whatever, a woman. I right. identify. Trans she, woman? She, she, gender role is a woman. Okay. And uh, I come up to her. I say, hey, can, I get, can I get you something to drink? She goes, Dicula. I go, yeah, 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 we'll get to that, man. Can I get you a cocktail or something? She goes, Dicula. So I go, yeah. I go, yeah. Give it, fuck. And just give it a second, man. I go, let me get you something to drink. She goes, Dicula. And so I'm thinking Tequila. she's saying Dicula. 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 Tequila. Exactly. Uh, but I'm dude. so fucked Stop, up. This is not my first rodeo, I guess. You know? yeah, yeah. I'm so fucked up. I remember her. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so fucked D- up that I think she said right. Dickula. That's what and it said. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah, we'll get to it, babe. Yeah, Just hang yeah. on. Let me get you a cocktail. I'm a gentleman, D- right? Dickula. So we get that straightened out. And and she's gorgeous, right? And so so and now Frank and Frank and Steve are just like you know they're just looking at me, they're just staring at me. Right? So we get our we get our cocktails. We walk over to this to this booth and we're sitting in the booth, right? And we're cuddled up and and Steve and Frank are just fucking eyes, just staring like right at me. And I pull her titty out. And I put her tit in my mouth, and I'm waving at Steve. <laughs> I'm, sucking, I'm sucking on her titty, waving at Steve. <laughs> They're just fucking horrified. <laughs> They're horrified. I have gone, as far as they're concerned, I have gone gay. They're covering up their penises, man. It's like, <laughs> fucking waving at them. And then me and this girl, we go over to the show. So we're going to play the show, right? And so she and I are... We're over at the show hanging out, and then fucking Louise, the promoter in Tijuana, who's who's you know gone now, but um, he's like fucking all pissed off. To Dan Root, he goes, "God damn it, man! I got nothing against the homosexuals, but your fucking singers making out with a dude." <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking going. But Steve and Frank, they'd fucking oh my god, they'd had enough, man, and uh, they were terrified. They were fucking terrified. Those boys, but. <laughs> but but I later told him, I said, all right, let me lay something down to you, man. I know you're upset about this. I go, but let me ask you a question. I go, you got to fuck one of them. Got to fuck one of them. Okay, take your pick. Are you fucking Cindy Crawford, 
with an eight inch cock or Chuck Bronson with a with vagina. vagina. <laughs> now, which one are you doing? And they're like, I don't want to do either one of them. <laughs> it's like, well, you got to pick one, man. And Frank's like, Chuck Bronson? <laughs> really? Really? That's where you're going? It's like, come on, man. You go Cindy Crawford and just flip it up on her stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you got to do, man. But it's like. <laughs> he prioritized the vagina, I guess. Well, like you right. said in the movie, uh, the first so time cool. you ever met a trans person, you were making out with a trans a person. Trans person. Right? See, yeah, yeah. I, found I, that I don't know if I'm saying that right. No, I don't know. That's but, right. Yeah, that's yeah right. it sounds great. Gorgeous. You, you have robbed graves? Is that that's true? Oh, that's, that is true. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know. For fun. Or, they weren't I, fresh. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't fresh. <laughs> I mean, old. You know, you're getting bones and stuff or whatever you're doing. And, uh. I remember I was I, I had robbed a grave in Europe. I was in Europe uh, in the uh, in the Joy Killer, and I had robbed a grave. And and my wife at the time said, "You are not getting getting fucking on the plane with that thigh bone, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bringing that on the plane." Uh, I go, "Come on, just put it in the suitcase." He's like, "You can't bring that." Did on you the ever get anything plane. cool like a vintage belt buckle? No, or, no, no, no nothing no. good. Nothing. Is it good. hard? No. Is it hard to rob no, a grave? No, no. A lot of them, it depends on this. Like, the cemeteries around here are nice, but, like, the old Pomona one, you know, they had been vandalized and it had been fucked up. They're all, it's all covered with cement now, but there's there's not, it's it's no big deal. You got to be. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, come on, man. People are digging shit up all the time. Yeah. yeah. You know, you finding have to, shit. You have to know which ones to go to, it sounds like, I guess, right? Right. Right, it's not like I'm fucking over in the wetlands digging up dead bodies. It's like, God damn it! You know? right. which, which, which there probably are. Which, you know, yeah. sadly, if you read about yeah, what yeah. they've done, the 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 fucking oh the native you know, the native, native Americans, Americans yeah, yeah, in yeah, this yeah. in this area, it's like, yeah. God damn it, man! They're selling skulls for twenty bucks. That's right. I've whatever. run into you at the wetlands. Yeah, you were uh, shooting out there with your camera. I shoot too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a badass shirt that says yeah. "Armed Socialist," and I fucking wear it over the fucking range. And I'm a good shot, right? And they freak out. They love me over there. They're like, I shoot. I shoot my the range is right across my office, so I walk over and just fucking. Is it a with, or something? Yeah, over in that area. I used to live kind of near there. Area. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 General yeah. area. Yeah. 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 But, but the I'll, gun range, not your house. Yeah. yeah. But I'll go. I'll go and drop. I used to live over there. Drop two hundred rounds at lunch. You know, just fucking go over there and whatever. It's fun. Yeah. Get your aggressions out, right? And that what they yeah. say. Well, it's, it's like, yeah, but it's not aggressive. I mean, my Glock is. That's an aggressive piece. Where I shoot a Smith and Wesson six one nine. This revolver too, which is nice. It's like a. Right. It's a nice gun. It's. Nice. And then we also, I shoot with uh, with Julia Kwong, for the drummer for the Smart oh, Peddlers. So yeah. Julia and I go over there and shoot, you know, and she's an enthusiast. You she's know? great. Yeah, oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Check out my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> just bring it. How and, funny. And the, she's so sweet. I, you know, I don't picture her. I mean, she's badass, too, watching right. her play drums. She's but, not yeah. as sweet. <laughs> she's always been sweet, yeah. in, you know, in, in, when I yes, met her. Yes. Yeah, very nice. But she is very... She is. If if she has a problem with you, you will know oh, it uh, yeah. from day one. There is no. So fucking... it's a good thing you think she's sweet. Then well, yeah. she's well, yeah, 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 yeah. She probably yeah. likes you. Yeah, she probably likes you. But How if many... she doesn't, you will know right away. How many guns do you have? A couple. A couple. A couple right now. Okay. Yeah. All legal yes, for sure. That, that, yeah. That's the, uh, well, the the gun owner response. I got a couple. A couple. You know, like... Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And well, and what's yeah. It anyway. just rem it reminded me because you're talking about old guns, of course. You know, guns would be dangerous, but you had this. Funny, we, we we went for a walk a couple times, I guess. Right, we, right, right. He, Jack likes to walk down to the beach, and sometimes I've, I've gone down and joined him, and we just kind of shoot the shit, and it's great. It's <laughs> yeah, fun. It's but, nice, yeah. But he's like, I'm tired of people saying words are just words. He's like, fuck that. Words are dangerous. <laughs> he goes, I'm all about it. So anyway, I, I, you I thought say you say that tell that film, too. Words are fucking yeah, dangerous, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. It's like, who doesn't think they are? I, I, it's like I told John Doe and those guys, it's like, hang on a minute, man. You're bitching at me. Like, like John, I, I was surprised. So John Doe and Tom DeSavia, they had written two books, uh, Under the Big Black Sun from an X song and More Fun in the New World. And so John had all these people write, write chapters. And so they hit me up and said, you want to write a chapter? I'm like, really? Like, really? You want me to write a chapter in your book? You know, because they didn't like us. They hated the beach kids. They hated us. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And so I said, can I write what I want? And he goes, yeah, write what you want. So my whole chapter was basically, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, man. What do you mean, fuck me? Fuck right. you. 
you take a, a 16, 17 year old boy and you start singing songs at him about take it out on the street, battle your parents, blah, blah, blah. And I'm listening and saying, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. And then when we do that, now you hate it. And, and one of the big things was, because back then, you know, the battle between the police and the punks or whatever, something had gone down at this club and the cops would come in and then they'd shut the club down. And it's like, to me, it was like, hey, casualty of war. Casualty of war, man. Right. You're, you're complaining because the police that you are battling with words, now they've come to your, your clubhouse and destroyed it. What do you expect? So, so to me, it was like, hey, if you didn't want us coming up there, don't play the music so loud. That was that was my line. Don't play the music so loud because we heard it, yeah. right. and then we came, we came, you yeah. know, and uh, and and it was nice because in Rolling Stone or whatever, John said, John paid a compliment to it. He said, "Hey, I think this is my favorite story in yeah, the book." Right it's like yeah. we started it, and then Jack said, "Fuck you, we finished it." <laughs> nice. <laughs> so and then and it was nice. They let me write another one for the second uh, for his second book, and um. I go, well, what's this one about? He goes, really? Just do whatever you want. <laughs> Just write whatever you want. So, yeah. so, so the piece I wrote for that was about ego. It was about, about you know, you know that bullshit line, better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. It's like, yeah, fuck you. Because you probably never really loved. You never probably really had a taste of something that's so fucking intoxicating and so fucking beautiful then when you've lost it, all that's left is longing. I mean, there's that Portuguese right, word, right. sedade, which with a longing with great, which will never return. It's like this. So you feel that. And and my story in that book was, you know, once you've stood on stage and been adored, like been adored, and to have that taken away from you. I mean, people fucking spend their whole lives sometimes trying to get that moment. Right. That, right. that only <clears throat> a few people have ever had. You know, to like recapture that feeling of of to be adored, to be idled, to be fucking loved like that. Feels pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, and people are liars if they don't think it says it feels good. I think sometimes, in some cases, it be, it becomes too much for people. Either that, or or once it starts to wane, they can't handle that, and that, it becomes too much. That's kind of what he's exactly. saying, right? But yeah. even even I think people on the top of their game, some some of them check out. They just they can't handle it. Yeah. You know, and I mean, Cat we've all Stevens seen that. Is you know? a fucking great example. Oh, I mean, that wow. fucker, that fucker went out at the top. He said, "Yeah, fuck this, I'm totally, done." Totally, huh? That's you well. Know, you see a lot of people, and, and you, you know, a lot of people that try to check out chemically, right. you know, and become become you know addicted to things, and you know, sometimes they don't recover from that. But it's a know? very intoxicating feeling. You know, it's funny because sure. our, our base, our, our so my daughter's boyfriend Brandon, he's been covering on base because Roach has been recouping and. Uh, and Brandon got back from his first tour. He's a kid. He's 23 years old, right? His first show. So he came out of a garage. He wasn't even playing bass. He's a guitar <laughs> player. I took him in the studio. His band was great. He's a great, like, singer-songwriter. What and, band? Uh, uh, they didn't have a name. Just some no. kids. <laughs> They're fucking killer. They were just some kids. And I took him in the studio. Did a tra they, they sounded great. And uh, so anyway... When Roach, we were looking for, we didn't know what we were going to do about Roach. My daughter said, oh, Brandon will play bass for you guys. She's like, he didn't have a fucking bass. She goes, well, he's got something in there. I don't know what he's got. In there. <laughs> and anyway, so I got him a bass. I called Fender and said, fuck, can you send a bass down for the kid? And uh, they sent him down, and he rips. He's Red. fucking great. I saw him with you at the last show. Yeah. Yeah. And his first show was, you know, sold out show with us in Black Flag. Fucking, wow. he comes wow. out of a garage. He's on stage in front of 800 people at this fucking huge club, right? And they're yelling his name and fucking, you know. And so when he gets back home on tour, he tells my daughter, he goes, I miss people clapping for me when I walk into a room. <laughs> when I walk into a room. One time. I, right? Yeah, yeah. one yeah, time. One That's fucking it. time. And then you, you think about those. You know, it's the same thing with those old movie stars, you know? They're not getting film roles. They're not getting this anymore. They're right. not getting that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, but they still have that longing of what it feels like to do that. It's a, it's a, yeah. it's a fucking gnarly feeling, yeah, man. Sometimes sure. it's better to have never tasted it. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, here's the other thing is, we have great shows, like, you know. Phenomenal. Yeah, all, yeah. all the time. But you never know. Like, uh, this last tour, we had 16 great shows and one 
bad one. Just it was just it was I don't just know. Just the way it was set up. Just the venue. This the way a venue yeah. venue is set up. It could be. So when people not, say, "Oh, it. it's great for you," you just go out. Everyone just loves you whenever you go on stage. Yeah. I don't have that feeling when I go on stage because I don't. I don't know for sure how it's going to be before you get on. Right? It could yeah. be great. Yeah. It could be bad. Right? Do you experience that, or do you feel like it's always going to be <laughs> never. just love? I, ne- I have <laughs> never thought. No, no. Seriously, I have never thought I'm going to be loved in any way. Oh, okay. I am so no. fucking panicked and <laughs> yeah, so right. paranoid. Okay. I think everyone's out to get me. They all want to fight me. Everybody fucking hates me. You know, <laughs> it's like they give me dirty looks. I I start panicking, so thinking yeah. that that so so I will get to the point when I feel that somebody is so antagonistic towards me in in the I'm reading their mind. I will live because I'll be wandering around the crowd, fucking doing whatever. I'll go stand next to them because I thought, you know, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Get it over with. I don't want to wait, man. If this guy's going to take a swing, fucking, I'm just going to encourage it. Yeah. So I'll go And then, stand then all by of a sudden, Fletcher comes from behind and yeah. takes you out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, Who but, loves you, by the so, way, but yeah. So I'm so fucking, and one time I told this guy, I go, hey, motherfucker, man. I go, look at that fucking piece of shit. He's fucking just staring at me, fucking, just get fucking mad dogging me. He fucker's mad dogging me. And my buddy goes, he paid to see you mellow out. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it, right. But it gets so crazy. But, and my, my, and I guess I got yeah. this thing. There's a thing like that. So, so my girlfriend says, you stop look, stop fucking judging people's faces. You're awful. You, you can't fucking do it. And I just had this thing. I was out in Vegas for four days. At the at the punk rock museum, and I was doing whatever. Like I, this group, I I go to twelve step meetings, right? So I'm at this thing, right? And this old man's looking at me, and he's, you know, and he's he's been sober for fucking ever, almost sixty years. This old hard like military cat, and he keeps giving me dirty looks, right? Because sometimes <laughs> some of my thoughts can be a bit provocative in in those places. Sure, yeah. And uh, anyway, so I think this guy. I'm telling my girlfriend, I go, this fucking old man's giving me dirty looks. He hates me. <laughs> fucking blah blah blah. And so on the fourth day, I said, hey, I'm leaving. I'm, I'll be gone after today. And he comes up to me outside, and I'm talking to this guy, and this old man walks up, right? He says, can I talk to you, Jack? And I go, oh, fuck. I go, yeah. And he looks at the guy I'm talking to. He goes, alone. I only talk to one man at a time. <laughs> and, that guy, and that guy knows this, dude. <laughs> so that guy fucking just takes off. It's like, yeah, see ya. And he just leaves. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, now I'm going to just get shit from this fucking old man. And he says, uh, you know what you make me feel like? He goes, you make me feel like dew on a leaf. He goes, I've been watching you and listening to you and ingesting your words, and I feel young, and I feel <laughs> fresh, Whoa. and I feel excited, like dew on a leaf. That's what I think about when you're talking. And I thought, oh, fuck. And I thought he wanted to kill me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so, you know, whatever. I don't know how I got onto that, yeah. but uh, yeah, but you know, I mean, I, listen, you're a great storyteller, man. I mean, here in your songs, movies, your books, you do it all, man. Like you, you really do. You're a great storyteller. So well, I like telling stories. Yeah. Can I we just, can we touch we like on, hearing on, on uh, some of the twelve step stuff without giving away yeah. like anyone's anonymity well, I'm just or not, anything? Yeah, but... I'm just not a I'm not a member. Of, you here's what you're allowed to say. I can say that I'm in recovery. I can say that. Let's I talk about recovery. Twelve step yeah, yeah. programs. I can do, I can say all that. I just can't claim membership at any specific organization, and the reason why is because if I fuck up, I don't want them to look bad. Right. So that's why. Okay. That's why you're not supposed to. Yeah. You're supposed to stay anonymous across the board because I can say I'm, you know, I'm in recovery, but I right. but I don't implicate them, and it's actually a it's actually pretty bitching like the structure of those organizations. Uh, uh, they're actually based on, on a lot of it's based on a socialist rabbi who said, you know, OK, we're not going to own property. We're not going to have opinion on outside issues. We're not going to do I mean, really fucking gnarly shit. And, right, uh, yeah. and anyway, so. So, yeah, we can discuss that way. So I want to talk. Funny? I, want, yeah. I, want, yeah. I see Dexter yeah. start smiling at me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dude, where are we going? You're looking yeah, at yeah. him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you never show where he's going. That's why yeah, I was yeah. kind of. Well, I, want, I just want to say my mother-in-law was a huge fan of yours uh, in, the, in the community, recovery oh, community. Oh. Um, but but uh, Father was, Terry. was. Well, she passed away. My mother-in-law <laughs> oh, passed away. Say, yeah, oh, I'm no. sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Father uh, Terry loved Father Terry. Father Terry, <laughs> yeah, he, who also just passed away yeah, this past right, winter. Right. Um, but that's my wife's uncle. Yeah. So yeah. we have these, these. I know you used to travel with yeah, Father yeah, Terry, yeah. and you were pretty yeah. tight with, with Father yeah, Terry. Yeah, great guy. Yeah. You, great you, got, guy, you got sober in 89 or something, right? 89, yeah. So and I, I once heard that you said you saw a guy passed out in the gutter not too long ago and you said 
That still looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Never. None of that ever looks good. Oh, you know okay. the only time it looked good? I'll tell you what's trippy, because people ask me all the time. They say, well, does it bother you? You know? Well, no. When I see people, you know, pissing their pants, shitting themselves, fucking up, drama, I get those calls back in jail, my wife's, I'm on yeah, the fucking yeah. streets, can I sleep on your couch? You know, all that? Fuck, no. Doesn't look good at all. But what happened one day when it did look good was, so I'm taught... To be to listen when somebody speaks, that's part of it. To actually listen and care about what somebody say to you, listen to what they're saying, you know, listen to it. I'm I'm taught to be of service, to help out, to not just come walking in there like I'm the shit. Just go in there and fucking grab them up, clean, help out with the dishes wherever you are. Be of service, be of service, right. be of. That's what I'm taught, right? That's my 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 code. So when people are fucking up, going to, I don't give a shit. But one afternoon, I was with my daughter. I had a great day with my daughter. And we we're at my sister's house. They got this beautiful ranch house. And I went there and they're having this dinner on the on the back under the back patio. And the pool's there and it's beautiful. And they got a great spread and their wine. And they're all these are all nice people. My nephew is who died from a drug overdose. He wasn't there that day. So nobody's fucking up. All and right. uh, and my brother in law asked me, he says, uh, do you want a glass of wine? And I said, Oh no, no, thank you. And he said, oh, that's right. He goes, that's right. He goes, God, we're so proud of you. That was it. That was all he said. But then I watched him. Nobody was fighting. Nobody was getting loud. Nobody was getting crazy. (laughs) They were regular people without the disease of addiction or alcoholism having a good time. And to a lot of regular people, those Budweiser commercials are true. They're true. When they see the Budweiser commercial, it's true. Conviviality, good times with friends, blah, blah, blah. Excellent. But to 15 people out of 1,000, we start fucking getting a couple in me. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, those Clydesdale are looking sexy. <laughs> I'm going to jerk that horse yeah. off right now. What the fuck? You know, yeah. some fucking craziness. Yeah. And, yeah. Then I, and so what fucked me up was I realized if I didn't stay in contact with those people that do need help, that have been getting their asses kicked, I'm going to start thinking I'm okay. Yeah. And I'm all right. Because I am good, and I'm a good listener, and I'm supportive. I'm a good human being, a good citizen. And then one day I'm going to say, yeah, give me a pour. Pour me a little bit. Right. And then next thing you know, I'm fucking up Well, again. I think you touched on something, though. You, you said be of service, help clean up, mop the floors, be humble, you know, and listen. Don't think you know it all. I think that humility and that, that humbleness is, is really important, I think, you know, not just in your own sobriety, but helping those around you as well. Well, in yeah. everywhere, in, in work and everything. Like, it's like... Yeah. You know, hey, look, just because you think the song's supposed to go like this doesn't mean the song's supposed to go like that. Right. Yeah, to you, you think so, but to somebody else, does. you know what I'm saying? We all look at it differently. So to learn to work in a group, to not be so forceful or to whatever, like that's been a big struggle for me, man, to sit back. And I've even been told, I remember Greg Keen told, when we are working on the Trigger Complex, Greg said, hey, we need you to be you. Fuck that program shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I know. I'm not used to seeing you humble so much. Yeah. You know, like I'm used to seeing you on stage and you do you command the room. You that's really, my job. You do. That's it is your job. Your job. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Exactly. That's my. And that's the thing. Oh, so there's a, a story of a rabbi. There's a story of a. <laughs> here we're having these talks now. <laughs> so there's a story of the rabbi, and it, it said that he had kept two pieces of the Torah in his pocket, one on each side. And it's funny because Terry and I were talking about this. Uh, I was telling Terry this, Father Terry, this story. Uh, he kept one on each side. And on one side, that piece of, of the law said that you must step forward and lead. And the other side said, you must defer. You must defer. And so right, he right. stayed between those spots. So, so when I get on stage, I must step forward and lead. This is my job. This is what I do. But when I come back, I can defer. You know, and ask and, right. and listen and, and take another opinion, especially I found, you know, making movies. You know, what am I missing? Like, what am I not seeing? I, you know, I'm going to ask, you know. And the other thing I found out, fuck, the one thing I never wanted, never fucking wanted is critique. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fucking, I don't need your fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, critique. Yeah. But as a writer, I want critique. I want to say, hey, hey, check this, man. Check this. Am I clear? Are these sentences tight? Is this, you know, whatever? Am I losing something? So there's a great story about Faulkner, who's fucking, you know, 
fucking William Faulkner, telling his editor, you're not doing your job. He wrote him a letter <laughs> saying, dude, hammer me, bitch. <laughs> fucking oh, hammer wow. me. Wow. Don't let me just fucking, don't let me. And this yeah, is yeah, Faulkner yeah. saying, critique me. Yeah. You know, wow. and, yeah. and to, to listen to an, an outside point of view. I mean, you know, look at the tragedy we just had. You know, fuck not, you know, it's not listening to an out, outside point of view. That is not safe. What you're doing is fucking wrong. Check it. Check yourself. No. Summer, yeah. Submarine? Is that what you're talking about? I'm not talking about that. But oh. I'm saying, <laughs> I, I, you know, we could, yes, I might be talking about that. <laughs> but that's a great example of, yeah. of somebody that's not willing to fucking compromise and listen. I mean, in the end, I got to make the move I'm going to make. But at least if I can say, hey, you know, what do you think about this? What right, do you think? Right, right. You know? Kind of brings things down a little bit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's get back to some fucked up stories. Because speedos, <laughs> surfing and speedos. <laughs> I, I ran into you. It's, it's been ten years at least yeah. now, but we surfed the pier together right. once, and I yeah. would re- ne- never go surf the pier. But the at that point, because it's yeah. it's just young kids, I can't out paddle them. You go paddling out on a short board. You're, you know, six six, two thirty, probably in a speedo and a rash guard, and that's yeah. it. It's still friggin' cold out there. It was me, you, and Mike De La Cruz. Yeah, yeah. And you're just, I'm splitting the peak with you. You're just these kids start paddling for a wave, and you're calling them off, just paddling in. And I'm going, okay, he's going right. I'm going to take the left or vice versa. You know. Yeah. It well, was, that's my little spot right there. It so. was great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was just, I was just kind of drafting you and and yeah. picking up the Uncle the, Jack. The, you, you, yeah. beat, you, you beat Jack. up somebody in a speedo, though, right? Wasn't this yeah. story? And Man, you told me you were yeah. upset about it. You were, I think, you were crying while you were. Oh, fucking awful! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. Like I'm a pacifist, and I don't like it. And right. it's fucked up because being, I was physically as a kid, I was physically abused a lot, whatever, sexually, physically, all that, and uh, you know, and so that's there. There's that there's that thing there that's really unpleasant, not good. Uh, right. Blackout, just nobody's home. There and nobody's home. It just goes nothing, and I and it's just it's just nobody's there. It's it's really it's fucked up, and it's been something that uh, you know I spent years years of correcting that. You know, trying to correct that. You know, cognitive behavioral therapy, all that bullshit, whatever. Right. And. Uh, so so yeah, I've laid hands on people and it never feels good. It's a bummer. It's it's uh, yeah. it's just not good. It's not a good thing all the way across. We're usually more worried about trying to avoid getting beat up than to actual beating yeah. people up. So, well, so uh, am I. Yeah. I don't fuck. I can't take a licking like I used to, man. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's like I tell somebody, I say, you know, I'm just trying to get to fucking fighting weight. God damn, not winning weight. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like right now I'm at losing weight. I'm like, ah, tap out. It's like, I haven't even hit you yet. I'm dapping. Yeah, oh, but it's, you know, but, and and then surfing, I fucking love, I, you know, I love, I haven't surfed in so long. And I yeah, get it's people, been about two years since I've been, I paddled out. Yeah. Last time I paddled out, it was humbling. So, but I've wow. lost some weight. I want to get back into it. You know, I was getting, it was during the pandemic and I gained a lot of weight at the first few months of the pandemic. Started drinking <laughs> a lot and yeah. gaining weight and dialed all back on that. I got to get back out. That's a fucking bummer, man. And yeah. I, I used to be good. Like I was good. So yeah. then, I'll, so I'll get out and people will go, "Fuck!" I remember watching you. It's like the same thing, like punk rock, '81, fucking, you know. <laughs> but then surfing, it goes way back. I started surfing in '69. So I, yeah. I remember you, winter of 74. God damn it, we were on the pier <laughs> yeah. watching you. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what yeah, happened? I got old, yeah. bitch. Fuck. Yeah. 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 God yeah. damn it. I'm, I'm going to be 62 this summer. It's like, uh, it's yeah. like oh, no. you don't look like you did in suburbia. No shit, guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm a fucking wax figure? Yeah. You know? It's like, God damn it. At least, you know. Oh, you know yeah. what? It can still be fun. I'm gonna get a longboard. I'm gonna start at Bolsa Chica. You know, you go. go to Old Man's. I can still, I can still have fun. There's yeah. no reason I'm not gonna be, you know, doing 360s, and you know, I'm not gonna be smacking the lip like I used to. Yeah. But I can still go out and have fun. Well, that's funny because the last time I went out, I fucking did this big like lip nose pick thing and brought it around and fucking front all these kids. You know, I'm fucking overweight <laughs> in my speedo. In my speedo, <laughs> just. And just fucking just slam this fucking this thing, and you know everyone's freaking out, yelling and shit. Cause I pulled it off, right? <laughs> right. They're all yelling, and, and and but what was funny is, so when I paddled out, I hadn't been out in a long time. They're this all is yelling at the pier shit. Again? Uh, this is actually on South Side. South Side. Okay. So they're all yelling, Gidget, 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 whatever, right? And then the <laughs> the first, and it was good. It was like a good swell, right? And then the the first wave I got was just some fucking psycho, fucking 
double you know, up bear or with a big yeah. fucking thing and a launch, right? And nobody says nothing. I pal back out, and this kid goes, well, I guess when you surf like that, you can wear what you want. <laughs> 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 but now I, it's like I suck. So oh, so I go out and people always go, what happened? What happened? You know, it's like, <laughs> maybe you could get a boogie board or something. You know? <laughs> oh, 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 fuck you, you bricks. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah. So anyway. what did you think about the Punk Rock Museum? I loved it. I didn't like it at first. I, I my, you know, contempt prior to investigation. It's like, what the fuck are you doing out here? You know, it's yeah. like, I, Thinking, I don't want to fucking do this. And they said, well, come out and be a tour guide. Come out and do it. It's like, you know, yeah, I mean, you're going to pay me to do it? Great, I'll come. You know, that was the attitude I had. I didn't have a good attitude rolling you in. You didn't like the idea of it? Or what What didn't I, you like? It just seemed weird to me. It just seemed strange to me. Like, I'm not, like, I don't really give up. Like, it's nice to sit here and talk about all this stuff. But I'd rather talk about the book that just came in my head today. Right. So I got an idea for a book today. I already started. I started working on it. I've been texting myself all day. <laughs> Right, and it's this, uh, my grandmother came from the South. She was born in the late 1800s. And so she would tell me these stories. She was a storyteller. And she would tell me these stories of the South, of carpetbaggers and, and, you know, trains. And she came out here on a covered wagon when she came. So it's pretty wow. badass. So, so I was thinking about her. So I started this piece on this kid <clears throat> in the South who's taken from a, uh, like a revivalist preacher has taken this kid. And uh, anyway, so this, so I like talking about now. I don't want to say, I, yeah, great, fuck whatever I'm doing. What have you done lately? Yeah, That's always yeah, that yeah, thing. What have yeah. you done lately? What are you fucking, you're living off a record that you did in fucking 1977? Fuck, what have you done lately, champ? Nothing. So fuck, go lay down. You know, whatever. <laughs> so so I don't want to. I, I get that. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, go to the yeah. punk rock museum and fucking do that, right? And I'm thinking, what am I going to say anyway? And then I walked in and it's like, oh my God. It was like, it was almost like sitting in my storage because my kids every once in a while make me go to storage and pull out boxes. Right, and we look right. at shit and shirts and clothes. And they try to get stuff off me all the time. You know, like, when I die, I take it all, man. And uh, so then walking through the halls at the Punk Rock Museum, I'm like, oh, I got a story about this. And I got a story about this. And I got a story about this. And it literally, to go through it, took me an hour and a half to fucking take a tour through. It was yeah, like, and yeah. I talked for an hour and a half, just straight, probably talked for an hour and a half right now, too. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but basically, it was like there was a story for everything, you know, yeah. e everything. So much I'd seen, uh, guys I forgot about, or people, or shows, or, you know, memories, right. or whatever. Yeah. And, and just, it was cool. I, 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 liked, I, I liked being able to do that. And, uh, and so I, I became a fan. Day one, I became a fan of it. Awesome. That's good to hear. I think they did a good job of, of honoring the, I think the so. people yeah. and the people that you, you might not, like you said, you might, oh, I forgot about that guy or whatever, you know, right. like it, I, I was concerned it might come across as a little bit self-celebratory sort of, you right. know what I mean? But it doesn't. It Hokey feels almost, no, but, but not no. at all. It feels yeah. very honoring. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was yeah. really cool. Yeah. And and the, the thing is, you know, it's like, God damn, and here's what's interesting. I don't know if it's interesting. It's interesting to me. What, when did you come in? Like, like it, it's so trippy. Like, depending on where you came in, it's almost like you need an experience built just for that. Like, you need an experience built for San Diego, for San Francisco, right. for Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the, uh, the guys that came in the 70s, their experience versus the 80s, 90s, right. all the way down. Yeah. You know? And it's all important to everybody. It's their history. It's important to them. But there's so much to cover. Like, even the U.K. stuff, there's only, like, a little bit of the U.K., but to me, the UK was everything, right? Because yeah. there wasn't a lot here, Until, you know. Yeah. So, see, for us, <clears throat> it was really it was mostly the local bands. We did like you know the Sex Pistols, of course. You know, the Damned were huge, but it was California. It was Dead Can, well, yeah. Ramones, New some New York, but right. then Dead Kennedys, you guys, fucking uh, adolescents. Look where um, you grew up. You know, okay. yeah, totally. <laughs> I, I mean, X, fucking X. X. The right spot. I, yeah. I try to tell people, God damn it, within a within a thirty mile radius, a thirty mile radius. You got the adolescents, you got T.S. Will, you got X, the germs, yep. black flags, circle dickies, jerks, social I love the dickies. Yeah. The social dickies. Yeah, yeah. The dickies, the crowd, the flyboys, China White. Yeah, yeah. I mean, God damn it. You could just spend, thir you could call it 30 miles. The crowd was huge, too. And within yeah. 30 miles, yeah. so many unbelievably great bands. The Vandals, you know, all coming out of this area. Yeah. It's like, why go anywhere else? For sure. And, Dude, that, but the, when I got in, it was like, <clears throat> I didn't really care for my peers. Do you know what I mean? It was like I was more interested in what was going on here 
because, you know, these guys are my peers. I play shows with them. Right. It's like. It seemed like you like liked the friends. scene more than the music, personally, from judging from right, what you, right. you say in the movie. Right. Um, you know, you said, like you keep saying, I, I want to be straight. I love pop music. I do. <laughs> you know? so, I always have. Yeah. Fucking the jam. <laughs> Gen yeah. X, Gen, Jam, yeah. Gen X, yeah, yeah. Adamant, Susie and the Banshees. Well, we always like punk bands that had songs, and we I, we would consider T.S.O.L. to be like that. But the Ramones, of course, Sex hugely, Pistols. huge, hugely pop. Yeah, yeah, Sex, Sex that's Pistols a pop band. Yeah. I am an antichrist. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking yeah, yeah. pop song, totally, man. Yeah. They're not going. Rah, 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 rah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They we fucking never sing it. Yeah. But isn't that true? You can't really like idolize your peers. It's got to be someone who came before you or whatever, right? Like, right. And those right. English bands, for sure, they are all. They were like the first generation stuff. There wasn't a lot of stuff here, I, mean, I guess, right. until yeah. what, 1980 or something like that. Right. I guess. So, so it's like when you're listening, I mean, that's what I grew <clears> up with. <throat> you know, like that right there is what I'm li- Not that I wasn't stoked on the germs or X. Of course I was. The bags. Right. You know, right. and all that stuff. I yeah. mean, it was bitching, but it was still here. It was it was here. Well, I, your first band, Vicious Circle, your first gig was Germs, right? Right, Germs you, you and Middle said, Class. Yeah, that yeah, was the wow. first gig. Yeah. The middle Class, too, yeah. yeah. Right on. Yeah. Even when we do interviews, I talk about how somehow I did not identify with the L.A. bands the same way I did with the Orange County bands. I mean, so close, like you said, a 30-mile radius, I guess. Right. But Night and day. just wasn't the same. Night and, and day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you agree. night and day. Night yeah. and day. Not that they were bad, necessarily. I don't know. No. I just didn't, I don't know, didn't a whole different, uh, it was Because it was a whole different attitude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Up there, let's be cool. Down mm-hmm. here, let's have fun. Right. It's, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like I'm going with fun. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> it's like my bre- my yeah. buddies that yeah. go, "Oh, so and so's playing here." Yeah, not me. There's a fucking kegger down the street. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go down here, fucking hit this kegger, go fucking have some sex, fucking drive like a maniac, <laughs> throw bottles at the police, and fucking be in bed now. You yeah, guys get up there and fucking go pose fucking against the wall and look cool and maybe get your picture taken. I'm going to be down here having a good time. I'll, Can I'll we, see you in the water yeah. tomorrow morning. Let's, let's talk about some of the, the fun <laughs> Southern California times. Like you were talking about uh, Pat Brown. Um, you were telling me a story one time hanging out um, where you're you're driving with him and you get pulled over by the cops. Oh, oh and, so, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. Well, there's a bunch of them, but I know yeah. that. Oh, I might be telling you a different one because there's a cup. So, Pat was an idiot. I want to say it was Seal Beach. You were <laughs> driving was, through okay, Seal Beach. A, yeah, but I'll give the you the famous this. Pat Brown from yeah. the song, yeah. right? He's a fucking yeah. idiot. And he didn't like that song. He didn't like it. <laughs> really? He did not think it was funny. <laughs> oh. He didn't like it. He was, he didn't like that. Sh- he, Pat was pretty funny about that kind of thing. Like, he had a, you know, he was a TSOL guy. He was okay. a vicious circle guy. He was one of, you know, so I, I used to be, I was in high school with Pat, you know, and, yeah. uh, Anyway, so but one night, so I got the station wagon. It's all it's all black, right? And I got this little girl's face. Like I don't anymore, but back then I look like a little yeah, fucking yeah. girl. You were pretty. Man, you were pretty. You know? like, yeah, tall. Right. But pretty. Right. <laughs> you know, I could wear a dress, yeah. and they'd like I'm a girl. I robbed this kid. I I the, at Halloween one time, I fucking grabbed this kid's bag and fucking yanked it out of her hand. You know, candy bag like you do. You know, when you go right. down, and she called me a bitch. She goes, you fucking bitch! You know, it's, like, it's like, I'm a man, young woman! You know? <laughs> anyway, but, so I got this car, and the windows are all blacked out. All black, station wagon. It used to have a finger on the roof. On the top, it had a fuck you finger on the roof of the car, and it said, fuck you, sky pigs, on the roof of the car. <laughs> like, it was just, you know, skull and crossbones on the windows. Just like, like an animal house. Animal house, that's what I was that's thinking. What it, it, yeah. Fuck, exactly. Yeah. I'd drive that fucking thing around all over the place, right? So I'm racing with Pat down the 605 freeway. We're, we're racing. He's in his whatever the fuck he's in. I'm in this car. I got a couple of people, and I'm all in black, whatever. And uh, so we we pull off the 605 southbound. We go on to Willow. We're going down Willow. And for some reason, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like Lion's Drag Strip or something. Like in my head, I, I don't know what kind of fantasy I got going on while I'm doing 100 miles an hour. <laughs> but so I go on the wrong side of the road to split the lane. Oh. So we got the drag strip lane in my head. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, right? So, But when I went and split the lanes at 100 miles an hour, the cops were at the light. And saw me do it, right? So they shoot after me, 
And they fucking pull me over. And when they pull me over, I jump out of the car and go, oh, my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. He was shooting. He was shooting. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, what, what? I go, I was trying to get to the fucking Winchells. I know you guys are always there. He's fucking shooting. He's shooting. The and the guy's like, who, who, what are you talking about? I go, the car next to us, the car. Didn't you see it? It fucking took off. Oh, my God, he's fucking shooting at us. And the cop goes, all right, we're on him. Did you get a license plate on it? Oh and they fucking God. just shoot off for Pat. All points bulletin for Pat. <laughs> oh, man. I just, oh and, I just truck and drive away, right? So that was one incident like that. Uh. So then another one, the one Noodles is talking about. So I'm with Pat. We're out drinking and being stupid. Fucking, oh, my God. And Pat's an idiot. He has never served in the military. Talk about <laughs> stolen valor, man. You know what I mean? Never served in the military. Always talking about Vietnam. He wasn't old enough to go. It's like, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> Always dressed in combat gear, fucking everything, whatever it is, right? So I got this car, this Lincoln Continental that I bought because I was watching Shaft and said, oh, I fucking want one, and found it and bought it that day, right? This piece of shit fucking, this old bitch in Lincoln, right? And, but it says, pull me over. Like, you see the car, it's like, oh, pull me over. There it is. Yeah, pull me over, right? <laughs> totally. so, I, so Pat and I are drinking. We're fucked up, and we're f getting in fights at this fucking bar. And, and you know, I felt bad because this bouncer came up to throw us out, and I knew he was bumming. Like, he's a big guy, you know, he's got his beard and stuff, but I knew he was bumming. It's like, you know, because he, he knows me, and he knows Pat, and he comes up, and he goes, hey, Jack, man. He goes, fuck. They want me to tell you to leave, man. And Pat goes, hey, hey, you wipe your ass with that beard? Like, Pat's oh. just like, it's already going, and the guy's bumming, right? And I go, oh, don't worry, man. Jim, we're out. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get him. Let's go. So I get Pat in the car. Pat's pissed off now because he wanted to cause some more trouble at the bar, whatever. But I felt sorry for this guy, so we leave. We get in the car. We're driving. Pat's being a fucking idiot. I'm going through Seal Beach on PCH, and I look, and there's the cops next to us. And I look at him, and he looks at me, eye to eye. It's like, fuck, not getting out of this, right? <laughs> so then I turn immediately into a parking lot, cut through, go into the fucking neighborhood. You know, I think I'm cool. I got Pat in the car next to me. And then, boom, we're red-lighted. We're red-lighted. And I'm immediately thinking, okay, okay, get away from Pat. Get away from Pat. Get away from Pat. <laughs> Pat's like, fuck it. Let's fight him, man. He goes, oh, <laughs> and, he's like, yeah. and he's like, he's all decked out. He's going, come on, you pussy, man. Let's just fuck it. He goes, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tonight's the night. He's like, oh, fucked up. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I got to get away from this fucking idiot, right? So the minute we stop, the minute I pull over and put the car in, I mean, the car jerks in park, right? Like, I didn't wait. It didn't even come to a full stop before I jam that fucking thing is like, oh, the car jerks and I get out and start walking back to the police right away I know get distance from Pat get distance from <laughs> Pat right so Pat's fucking around whatever he's doing in the car I go back to the police I go look your honor I, officer I go look officer I go I saw you you saw me I know we saw each other my buddy I'm just trying to get him back to the base he's hammered he is hammered and I go, I just want to get him back to the base. He just got back from Beirut. I don't want any trouble. I'm just I'm just trying to get him back. And I know you saw me and I saw you. And I'm I'm sorry for turning in, but I just want to get him back to the base. He's been serving the country and he's been a little wild tonight. I just want to get him back. And Pat gets out of the car, all in combat gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All in all in legitimate fucking gear, right? And Pat goes, What the fuck's going on back there? And I look at the cop and I go, I go, see. And he goes, all right. He goes, all right. He goes, just keep it tight. Get him back to the base, and uh, you go along your way. And so I start walking back, and Pat goes, what the fuck? He goes, you're letting him go? <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you're letting him go? He goes, that's Jack Grisham. He's got warrants. He's got warrants. <laughs> He's screaming. And I look back at the cop, and I just fucking roll my eyes, just put my hands on me. And the cop just nods to me. He goes, just take off. Right, and Pat is screaming. He's an animal. Wow. That's he's a good one. That's, a, that's amazing. Oh my god! Yeah, that's he's amazing. like fucking. He's trying. I would have fucking been arrested. Best story of the night. That wow. was wow. So yeah, cool under great. pressure, man. Like, <laughs> all right, one last. I know. Yeah, one yeah. last. Talk about okay. cool under pressure. Okay. Right? So they got my house surrounded. So I had done. <laughs> Let's just start there. Just yeah. start there. Yeah. <laughs> So the Picture cops this. got my house surrounded because of something or whatever, and they and they got the house surrounded. So, so, so somebody walks in the house and he said, "Hey, man, 
the, the house is fucking surrounded. There's cops on every fucking corner out there. You got to get the fuck out of here, right? And it's my mother's house. <laughs> so, so I kiss my girlfriend goodbye, and because I'm violating restraining orders and all sorts of shit, you know, it's fucking. I, it, that's how it started. It was a, a restraining order violation, and they followed me, blah blah. blah. So, so anyway, so I fucking jumped the fence in the backyard. I jumped the fence in the neighbor's yard, and then jumped the second fence. And when I jumped the second fence, I hear a pop. Like, it pops. So I come down on my ankle wrong, and it pop. Like, I hear it, like, pop, right? I'm like, fuck, so now I'm lame. Now I'm dragging my fucking leg. <laughs> so I go two more fences over, and I come out of the backyard, and I hear, like, because they're coming. They see me coming up, right? So I bend down, and I turn on the garden hose, and I start watering the lawn. <laughs> And I just, I look at them while I'm holding the hose, water in the lawn. <laughs> and they pull up and they see me water in the lawn. And then they just, they shoot off. <laughs> they shoot off. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Right. Because who's going to be water in the fucking lawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? He doesn't live down there. This guy lives up here and he's water in the fucking lawn. And I just oh laid God. the hose down and hobbled off. Oh just hobbled God. off. Wow. Fucking. Quick thinking. Jesus. That's like some Ferris Bueller shit or something. Yeah. I don't no, that's uh, yeah, but uh, that is some Ferris Bueller shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Playing hot box, yeah, I'll catch Ferris any Bueller. ball off the bat. Hot box, you ever play hot box? Hot no. box baseball? Come on, fucking no. athletes, nobody in. There. So not uh, baseball, <laughs> surfing, skating. But all no, right, not so baseball. hot box, like you get there and it's it's a little baseball thing. You're with me. Somebody's with me on this. Anyway, so off the bat, I'll catch it. I'll catch it. You fucking throw something at me, and I will catch it. I have caught bottles coming out of the air right at my face. Catch it, no problem. Put me in the outfield, we're fucked. Because I got too much time to think. Oh, <laughs> all right. Too much time right. to gotcha. think. Gotcha. So it quick, bam, 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 I'm on. Bup, 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 yeah. I got it. Put me in the outfield, the ball will hit my head. Yeah, I right. will fucking, yeah, I, yeah, I don't got yeah. it. You can't Jeez. think. No, can't, can't think. think. I, I too got much that. thinking. I can, yeah. Then I start thinking about the ball, it's traveling. I wonder what that guy swung with. What's that yeah. wood? What do you think they're doing <laughs> with that wood yeah. over there? I wonder if he came, did he drive himself over here? I wonder if his <laughs> wife came in. <laughs> Just, like, <laughs> I can go totally on. relate to that. Yeah. Too much time to think. Yeah. Well, you know, I... Was there anything you wanted to talk about? I, we didn't really have an, an agenda. Yeah, we're what, trying to trying to defer a little bit. How was, so the movie is called Ignore Heroes. Ignore Heroes. The movie comes out. I, I heard it comes out August thirteenth. So okay. we had we had a premiere, two sold out shows. Great. Yeah, great. We were, Just, we were out of town. We I wanted to go to that. But it looked right. great yeah. on the big screens. Fucking badass, you know. So. Uh, yeah, the movie's coming out, the books, always books. I just wrote yep. a script for another movie and just started another book today. Nice. And, uh, I like to just make sh- I like to make shit. That's what I like to do. I like yeah. doing, I like was making the, shit. Was the watering lawn story, was that in American Demon? Might have been, it, yeah. It sounded, it sounded familiar. Been, yeah. It's nice to hear you tell it in, in person. Yeah. So I enjoyed yeah, that book, real by the way. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sad great. thing is those yeah. stories are true. The yeah. only, you know, that's it. Somebody yeah, yeah. asked me one time, it's like, it's like, yeah, this in that book, most people make up the stories and then are true about what happened around them, right? But in my book, I lie about what happened around me, and the stories are true. And it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty yeah. fucked up. That was a bummer. That whole like a lot of uh, I heard a lot of people. You know, I heard a lot of people. I did a lot of damage. Oh, I heard right. a, I heard a lot of people, and and so for me, basically, it's been the last thirty four years is restitution. You right. know, and there's a great, I, I love, you know, A Christmas Carol, Dickens, you know, writing, getting paid for the word. That's why he's so verbose. But but anyway, there's a, there's a scene in that where Scrooge says to Marley, he says, uh, you were a good man of business. And he said, mankind was my business. And I didn't do it. You know, so it's that, mm. that thought. It's like, so, so, you know, I had forged a ponderous chain when I'd gotten here. And yeah. then, and luckily got the chance to repair a lot of it and, and right. you know, clean stuff up, and uh, and and the cool thing is, you know, talking about this cleaning stuff up, you know, everybody loves a good happy story. Oh, we cleaned up, they hugged and kissed, and everything's right, nice. Right. Uh, some of the best ones were the people uh, that wouldn't allow me to clean it up. They told me to fuck off. We don't want to talk to you. We don't give a fuck. You're sober. We don't care. You're doing good works. Fuck you. Fuck right. you. Go be sober somewhere else. And the cool thing about that is, is you get a chance to realize that some injuries cut deep, and that people aren't willing to let go, and things don't always go your way, uh, you know. And you got to live with that. You got to you got to live with things not being okay. 
and, and so it's it's a good awareness. That's got to be pretty humbling, you know, to be yeah. and, and to be able to take that on. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, the whole thing is. Um, you're still, it still atoning after all these years, huh? Yeah. Well, is it toning or is it a way of life now? But basically, yeah. I mean, it's right. basically just, you know, to try to stick a hand out, to be helpful, to try to just, you know, uplifting, to be yeah. uplifting. And you spend a, a lot of time actually helping people kind of move from that doing a lot of damage part of their life to to being humble and, and helping people in their own part of life, right? right? Hopefully, yeah. You know? And I'm really like a cheerleader. That's what I am. I'm a fucking motivational speaker. Fucking Chris Farley, too, right? <laughs> you know, like, like, I'm a, I'm motivational. That's what I am. <laughs> there There's other go. people that are better on the long-term work. I'm good at pumping people up. Like, right. let's go. Let's get this. Let's fuck. Come right. on, man. Let's go. Right. And, uh, and, and that's, that's what I'm good at, you know, enthusiasm. Yeah. Well, I know you've been very private about the recovery thing, but I, I do know from a lot of people that you do quite a bit of work uh, speaking and helping people and stuff. And I think that's yeah. very admirable. I think it's very cool. Yeah, that, it's a, it's like finding something bitching. You know, somebody asked me one time, like, okay, so surfing. So I'm I'm surfing. So it's kind of a hidden place down there. Like, like you don't really go there. Wait, let we're me, gonna let we're me. gonna bleep that out. Uh, yeah, let me <laughs> let me rephrase that. Rephrase that. Don't go there unless you live there. So, well, no, it's 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 yeah. a walk. You have to walk unless right. you know somebody who lives in that community. You have, right? Yeah, this okay. guy live real, real close to that. Okay, know, down in Sunset. So. Okay, so my but so I'm staying. I'm in hanging long surf there forever, long time. So one day I'm surfing, and it's fucking smoking. It is so good, so good, and the water's warm, and it's fucking great. And no one's out. Nobody is out. Huh. Me and my buddy are the only people out. And his wife's having a baby. Like, so they had to go to a doctor's appointment with her. I go, fuck that shit. She ain't having it today. <laughs> fucking, she can drag her ass down. Come on, man. Are you fucking, you are leaving this, man? I don't give a fuck about that kid. Let's get this on. Because, I mean, it, we were literally just trading waves, yelling. How, I mean, this is just perfect. As perfect as California gets. Beautiful way. Yeah. So he fucking splits. So I'm surfing perfect waves, but I'm all by myself. So what the fun is that? So I walk out onto PCH, and I'm trying to flag down a car with boards on it to say, (laughs) come on, man, come out with me. Come get this. And and it's the same thing with recovery. It's like it's been so good to me and the feeling I have from being clean and living, like appreciating the basics. Like fuck! Oh wow! Look at this water. It's fucking great. Look at this. That's right. Look where yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. So, so you just want to share it with people. It's yeah. not a job. Yeah. It's not a chore. It's like fuck. Here, come get some of this. Man. I love surfing by myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but I know what you're saying. Cause yeah. like I love when I hear like when I hear new music. Like oh, I want to share this with people. Or you know, if something new comes on. Like I, I want to. I want to talk to somebody about this. I want to share this with somebody. Well, um, and I do love surfing with my friends, but I, I also like surfing alone sometimes. Well, I like what you just said though, because there's a cool and I, I'd, I'd love somebody to check this out. A John Cougar Mellencamp story of all people. Uh, he, when Princess Little Red Corvette came out, uh, supposedly he was playing a show, and I've heard this from a couple other people. I can't back it up, but it's probably backed up somewhere. And he, in the middle of his show played Little Red Corvette over the speakers and told the audience, listen how great wow. this is. Listen yeah. how cool this song is. Let me share a song with you. Yeah. And uh, and it was that song, which is actually, he, like, he totally, like, it's like, oh, I like him now. You know? yeah. I mean, because he, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. he just wanted to share something that was bitching. And yeah. that's a, I used to feel that, you know, about punk rock or whatever. Come on, man, this is bitching. Exactly, exactly, bitching. you know. Yeah. Like, I tried to turn friends on to punk rock, but they just, you know, would, wouldn't hear of it. No, punk rock. Oh, they spit on each other, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, There's a lot of that. Hear it. Yeah. yeah. There is a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, but so movies, books. I just released a book called True Stories uh, that's doing really well. It's doing Where can good. you get it? Uh, well, Amazon. Amazon, okay. Because okay. I, don't, I, don't I don't have a anything. I don't have an agent. I don't have a... I just quit the shit out of my style. <laughs> Amazon's great, though. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, Amazon, yeah, 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 I just write the shit and put it out. You know, yeah. it's like, and I don't I, I don't talk to anybody. Yeah. You know, I just, it's like, well, what are you doing with this shit? I, well, I, my kid, this kid's book, Julia Kwong, uh, Julia uh, was when she comes over to my house, I had this kid's book that I wrote and illustrated called I Wish There Were Monsters. And she's like, comes over the house. She goes, well, what's this? I got oh, something. She goes, she goes, what? 
really? What is this doing? I go, well, I wrote it for the kids. It's just sitting over there. She goes, can I put it out? I'm like, yeah, put it out. You know, and she put it out and it sold out. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, thousand books right away. Just bam, done. Rad. rad. And uh, she's great like that. I know she does a lot of the, she does all the Smut Peddlers merch and stuff. And she'll do, she'll do mugs and t-shirts. Record covers. Really cool stuff. Great artist. Great artist. All all across the board. She's great. Nice. Well, anyway. dude, you're doing it all. Writing, directing. Yeah. Getting ready to make surfing. Another, getting ready to make another movie. And still singing in a punk rock band. That's the best. Yeah, yeah awesome. for now. Probably probably a couple more months. But everybody's falling apart. Do you guys so. have you guys have dates coming up besides the darker waves thing? Yeah, we're gonna go to Europe. We'll be in Europe for oh, a couple of weeks. Right. That'll be nice. And then uh, two weeks there and then some shows with the circle jerks and then a couple right. of shows here. And then I basically basically I mean, I know I've said this a ton of times before, but January's looking like Looking like, because Ron's got to get an operation on his shoulder. He's tore his oh, road. No. He's going to be out a year. Oh, so, it's okay. like, so probably, if you want to see us, you might want to see us. Because yeah. Roach is already sitting out. So, and Greg, yeah. I just heard Greg said he's got to get an operation on his back. It's like, God <laughs> oh, damn it. Geez. It's like, what the ah. fuck? Yeah. Oh, man. They can't yeah. fucking, you know. What's it? It's that line: "The candle that burns the brightest burns the quickest." And yeah. you have burned yeah. those so very bright. It, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we want to go. Are you playing Bakersfield? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any Fresno dates coming up? Yeah, the circle <laughs> yeah, we'll jer- be there. Us, us and the sh- circle jerks will be fun. That'll yeah, be fun. Like, we're, yeah. Doing, we're doing four dates with them: Sa- San Diego, uh, Santa Cruz. I don't know where else. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually. I don't know. When does this come out? We got to do that. I want to see the Circle Jerks too. I haven't seen them. When yet. does? Yeah. Um, when does this come out? Do we know? Next month or so, I think. We're doing one a month. Oh. So. All right. Well, you just missed an excellent book reading. That freaks me out. Are we still gonna be alive a month from now? I don't even want to say I said that. <laughs> 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 now it's always weird. It's like fuck, man. With you guys the- trip on shit like that sometimes. <laughs> just like. You never know. Live, live in the moment. Is that what you mean? That kind of thing? No, I mean, it just terrifies me. I started crying yeah. the other day. Actually, was it today? Yes. No? <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. Because I thought, fuck, man. When's the last time I'm going to see my kids? Like, I I, st- I really got no, that. And then it just got like so <laughs> wound up uh, on me. Because there yeah. is going to come a day, and that's going to be the last day I yeah. see my daughters. Right, you right. Know? Yeah. So I just start crying. I'm all fucking wound. That... that we didn't get into the hypnosis shit, but uh, <laughs> but the trouble with uh, vivid imagination is uh, Stephen King. I heard this great thing about Stephen King. They talk about how prolific he is. He's always writing, writing, right, writing, right. right. And he says if he's not working, then that same intellect that creates those stories, same with me, creates the books, creates the movies, creates this, creates that same intellect when not put to work will turn upon its master. Okay. All right. And all of a sudden, that, that it needs something to do. So you need so, that outlet. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah. it. Yeah. It's yeah. like like when you go into the fucking you know insane asylum, they're doing baskets and shit. Gotta get this. <laughs> <laughs> That's your basket. <laughs> Shit's gotta be getting done. <laughs> Shit's gotta be getting done. It's where it's not just the Chaucer thing and idle hands or the Devil's Workshop. It's right. fucking right. idle hands will turn against you. Yeah, uh, idle. Oh, man. Yeah, idle yeah. thoughts will, will yeah. come. To, it's like yeah. fucking boom. That's where it goes. I tell people all the time. You know. They, they talk about thinking, thinking, thinking. I had a guy once tell me, he says, who's running the show? You or your mind? All right. You know, it's like, right. fuck, it better be me. I better yeah. start, you know, blah, 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 blah. Dude, so Thank many great you. stories. We could, you know, I, I, I could sit here all day and listen to, you know, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks stories. for joining yeah, us, Joe. I yeah. thank you guys. Yeah. I was stoked, man. Like, like I was proud of you. Like, like when everything blew up and got good, I'm like, fuck, this is bitching, man. Nice. <laughs> Thank I remember you, man. telling yeah. Tom how cool it was. It's like, fuck, this is great. This is fucking great. It's like, because it's, it's, it's all of us. You know what I mean? It's like a part of, a part of what we did, becoming successful and being bitching. It's like, it's like I, I, I was stoked on it. You know? Thank you. And, you yeah. know, that's how, how I felt like when I first saw Nirvana blow up. I'm like, finally, something that, you know, I feel, you know, I relate to getting the, the recognition it deserves. Right. You know, and we, we always tried to, you know, make sure we also pointed back at the people whose shoulders we were standing on, yours, um, you know, all the bands that came before us. Um, the OC know, bands, the, the, mostly. Yeah, mostly yeah, but OC cool. bands, but it's, yeah. It's cool to see that. Because that's where we come from, yeah. you know. Yeah. So. 
It's like, yeah, yeah hey. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I remember right? telling guys, yeah. fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. fuck you, yeah. fucking pricks. I've been telling you this is good for a long time. Yeah, Eat exactly. shit, you hippie yeah. fucking, fucking whatever. Yeah. Right, well, honestly, quite honestly, I, you, yeah. you know, I, I mean, Osmond's first record is one of my favorite TSOL records. You know, uh, like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Uh, like, <laughs> not the most successful yeah. one, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it's bitching. It, yeah. It's bitching. And just a, 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 a little plug. There's kids from the garden. They're doing oh, the yeah. same thing yeah. right now. Yeah. I fucking love those kids, man. I love them. And such yeah. good, at least right now. Now, whether or not it's going to stay, but right now the head's on the shoulders. They're solid. They're cool. Good. They're fans. The cool thing about those guys is their fans are stoked on the opening bands. Like they study and they learn songs and they sing My along. My son's band like, has, has played it. with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and their dad pitching. is the drummer from Shattered Faith. Shattered Faith. Yeah. yeah. So okay. they're they they they're kind of like they're. They have real strong roots in the in the Orange County punk rock oh, cool. scene. And good sure. family. Like, yeah. good family. Like, yeah. don't get sucked into the bullshit. Yeah. Like, don't get sucked into That's why I always say somebody, fuck that, all that bullshit, that ego fucking pumping fucking superstar. Don't get sucked into that. Yeah. Just stay right here. Yeah. Stay right here and fucking have a great time. We had them open up for us somewhere. Palladium, maybe. I'm trying to think where they... Yeah, opened up for us. Nice, nice guys. Really, great kids, really great, nice. really, yeah. really cool band. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. All right. Good. Great to have you, Jack. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Come see Thank us again you. sometime. This was yeah. great. Thank you. Oh, nice. All right. I'm glad you give a shout out to. Well, to that was fun. Banner. Yeah.